Use this. Hey, y'all feeling? Peace to the God, the goddess of the planet Kai. We is in here. We in here. Spread the word, let them know we live. Yeah, you see all the intent today. All the intent today. Feel me? How y'all feeling? Reflectiations. Feel me? How you feel? <clears throat> Welcome to class. Spread the word. Let them know we live. Welcome to class. Reflectiations. You know, we got Ogun in here with us. We got Oya in here with us. Mama Oya, Papa Ogun. You feel me? All the ancestral spirits and energies in here with us. So we rocking today. How y'all feeling? So you hear me? Do you like the uh, stage? Appreciate you. How y'all feeling, man? We on here for another deep live lecture. A deep divine download, as we like to call it. Okay? But look, 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 before we get started, I got a motherfucking disclaimer around this bitch. You hear me? If you do not like your kids to hear profanity, like shit, bitch, hoe, pussy balls, damn motherfucker, lead the university now. You hear me? If you don't like black guys with their shirts off, leave the motherfucking university now. All right? If you got a problem, with being called a human being, if that which you are, and you feel like a racist, leave the motherfucking university now. If you're a black person, a god or a goddess, and you have a problem with me being cool with certain white people that are not racist, leave the motherfucking university now. If you're straight, and you have a problem with being cool with gay people that have high vibrations, leave the fucking university now. If you're gay, and you have a problem with me saying that Y'all try to take over the motherfucking world. The whole world can't be gay. Leave the motherfucking university now. If your ass have a problem with me shooting music videos, leave the motherfucking university now. Because that's what I want to start to fuck. Nah, nah, fuck that. Nah, fuck that. I'm standing up right now. This is stand up set. And I'll grab the seat when the seat is needed. You see? Because motherfuckers forget who I am. Nah, you know, because like, I left all of YouTube. I know YouTube. Y'all don't know what's going on. So let me pull y'all into what the fuck is going on right now. Right? Why I got on here like this. You hear me? You know, they made me put on all the, you feel me, reflections. Reflectiations out there. You hear me? I had to go throw all the crystal necklaces on. Like, how, why is they playing with me like this, man? And I don't even like to use me because we know me is the ego. Why are they playing with I like this? I am that I am. I know who I am. What about you? And the reason I'm saying that is because it's real over rich over here. Let me let the YouTube family know what's going on if they don't know. So, you know, I, I shot a video. I, I'm, album, I'm in album mode. You know, I'm in album warming up mode. You know, I'm in the kitchen cooking shit up right now. I'm in the lab concocting shit right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to do my thing. You know, I got hoes like my baby mama lying on me and shit. You know what I'm saying? And we're going we to talk about what, what else we done found out after Wednesday, though, y'all. After October 13th. I will announce to the world who this hoe really was the whole time. It gets deeper, y'all. We're going to leave it at what we know, though. But yeah, I got low vibrational bitches like that line, right? I got white people mad at me because when I talk about they came out of Petri dish, now they think I'm racist. But y'all were concocted in Petri dishes, and I'm not racist. Then I got black people mad at me because I'm cool with certain white people. I took a picture with, my, with a white engineer. I let my white engineer do my black power moves track. Everybody was in my comments like, oh, he fake, he, he fake pro-black. Yee? Yee? What are you talking about? You know what I'm saying? And then, 
That's why I say you can't win with losing with the footies with these ungrateful motherfuckers. Don't follow me if you fake. It's real over rich over here, like I say, man. Jesus hung with the pimps, the bums, the prostitutes. Half of y'all ass was religious before you even came to my university. You get what I'm saying? A lot of y'all weren't even saying no peace to the guys or none of that shit. Motherfucker was still saying good M around this motherfucker. I don't give a fuck who you heard said it. I know y'all wasn't saying it. I know I had to explain thoroughly to motherfuckers in the beginning. You hear me? Like, now, like, now, that's some real shit, though. I be being too humble. That's what the fuck is wrong. And then I be responding to everybody comments as many as I can. And then motherfuckers just take your energy and just, you know, you know what they do on your shit. Niggas jump all on your shit. Then niggas wanna all on your shit. All on your energy. Niggas wanna all on your motherfucking shit. You know what I'm saying? Like for real. I'm like, hold on, man. Hold on. Like, listen, I just shot a video, right? I just shot a video, you know. I posted like, yeah, I'm, just, I'm trying to get my mind off other shit. You know, it's already like, I still can't even go live on my main page on IG. Y'all feel me? This shit I go through to wake motherfuckers up. Then here I go, let me go hit my music thing. You know, I ain't dropped a visual in a minute. I'm so real over rich. I bring motherfuckers through the doors with me. Now niggas want to judge the models. Uh, uh, niggas in a, hey, they seem to take a picture with an Asian model, right? She Asian and black, right? Niggas in the comments, first off, the jealousy was through the roof. I thought we was goddesses in here. It wasn't even that many guys. Hey, nigga, the guys was like, I see you guys do your thing. Niggas was liking. It was goddesses. Ooh, that's that. that look at her jawline. That got to be a man. Gee, why is she playing with me like that, though? You know what I'm saying? Like, like, like. And then it was motherfuckers that I had follow back in the power and followed all you goofies. Straight smoothies. You know what I'm saying? Another motherfucker like, I just post another guy. Cause I, you know, I'm going to post everybody that was on the shoot. Everybody that was a part of it, I'm going to post a picture, shout him out, show him love. I post another. Don't get cloned. Don't get cloned. Well, obviously, you want me to get cloned. Because if your ass ain't finna come pop out October 13th while we do this standoff for Rashad Jamal against the Georgia corrupt system, and then we're going to flip it and make a video, and then flip it and mass meditate, then I, I ain't trying to hear shit about don't get cloned. It's a whole heifer line on me right now trying to send me to jail. So if you cared about me getting cloned, nigga, you'll be making sure I don't go there. You'll be making sure a revolutionary leader who's a married individual who gives back to the community on all levels don't even see the cell. That's what you'll be doing. You will be one of the people calling the DA office. You'll be one of the people that's pulling up ready to step back behind this shit. Because that's what I want to see. How many motherfuckers really finna come out with me on 13? All this internet talking. Who gonna really pull up though? Motherfuckers gonna pull up. But I bet you they gonna be everybody that be on live talking. Then I put people on my live. I will pull up right now, God. Then niggas inboxing me the last few days. Hey man, I'll be real with you. You know, uh, I really wanted to come, but no, you didn't. You was a bitch. You ain't want to come shit. You want to set your bitch ass online and watch me die for this shit, and then go bump my music and put my face on a shirt. That's what your bitch ass wanted to do. You feel me? Cause that's how your mama raised you. She was a coward. Your daddy, who wasn't ever in your life, was a coward. Your granddaddy was cowards. You see what I'm saying? Because if it, this shit got to be in your blood. You can't be boy. This shit in your blood. You feel me? Now, us revolutionary motherfuckers, our ancestors was the motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? That was really stepping. Our ancestors that got out there and marched with King. Your, your, your ancestors ain't marched with King. That's why you's a, that's why you's a coward right now. Because your ancestors didn't march with King. Your ancestors was them black motherfuckers that stood on the side and talked shit about King and then marching, nigga. Your ancestors wasn't patrolling the police with Huey Newton and the Black Panthers, nigga. Mine was, though. Your ancestors was the motherfucker saying, why are we getting so violent, for? Why are we need, why are we going that route? Nigga, your ants, you house Negroes, and you, and you auntie Tamikas. You feel me? Y'all ancestors, they ain't do that, nigga. That's why y'all like y'all is today. But us revolutionaries, the ones that's in the university and around the planet, that's ready to step behind this shit. That's because it's in our blood, nigga. Some say this shit is in our blood, nigga. You feel me? This shit is in our DEA, deoxyethyric acid, that which we have. You feel me? Facts, nigga. But the rest of y'all ass some cowards, and this shit just the entertainment for y'all bitch ass. And then the same motherfuckers want to get on the post, trying to take my joy. Nigga, you don't know what I'm going through in life, nigga, behind after our lecture. Get y'all bitch ass out of here. Nigga, I don't need name one of y'all ass following me on my soul. I, boy, I damn said something this live. I had to catch myself, you feel me? Because I don't know who the fuck y'all think y'all playing with. I ain't never, I ain't never hear who the fuck I was with none of y'all ass, nigga, on my soul, nigga. Like on some real life shit, I ain't never hear shit. How about you? How about y'all? Y'all can't 
It's, but y'all can't say nothing about y'all life. Y'all can't get on this bitch and be y'all self. Y'all scared to get on this bitch with the crust in y'all eyes like y'all don't wake up with it in y'all shit. Everybody getting on the internet looking perfect with perfect makeup and perfect hairdos. Everybody rich, let them tell it. Ain't nobody never been broke. Ain't nobody never went through nothing. Right, nigga. This the realest you gonna ever see it on the internet, nigga. Right here, right now, nigga. And in real life time, I'm on that. Just like I'm with the police of Fayetteville, me and my wife, nigga. And then you turned around with my bitch ass baby mama lying because she scorned. Well, my bitch ass ex-girlfriend. That ain't even my baby mama. Bitch ass ex-girlfriend lying because she scorned. You feel me? You seen what I told the police in the incident report? Nigga, I'm anti-police, nigga. Right, I told the police that, nigga, in real life. In real life. In real life, nigga. Yo bitch ass wouldn't have said nothing. Police pull up y'all ass being complete compliance around this motherfucker, nigga. Fuck is you talking about? Then niggas want to get under the mob. Nigga, I can see you on the little boozy shit. I can see one of these signed ass rappers make a, if I make a video, nigga, the warehouse that's out of my pocket, nigga, me and my, my people pocket, nigga. The models hired, nigga, there wasn't no motherfucking hoes, nigga. There wasn't no prostitutes, nigga. There wasn't no motherfucking strippers, nigga. Those are fucking models, nigga, and they gonna dress to whatever I need them to dress to based upon the visual. And guess what? Motherfuckers ain't even seen the visual yet, and niggas was already talking shit. Then I see other goddesses, oh, that gotta be a trendy, nigga. That ain't never was no trendy. Why the fuck would you even disrespect me like that? You under my shit saying that. You see what I'm saying? You under my post saying that. Like you under the motherfucking little dirt shit or something, nigga. Like you under little baby shit or something. Like you under one of these signed, I ain't no signed ass rapper, nigga. I ain't none of that. I ain't none of that. You know what I'm saying? I'm a revolutionary. So first off, it's disrespectful, nigga. Anybody you see me post or anything you see me post, you're going to respect it. I stay the fuck off. Don't follow me. Don't none of that. Don't halfway kick with me. Don't none of that. I don't do none of that shit. And I ain't living for no motherfucking internet, nigga. I ain't living to impress you motherfuckers. Nigga, I'm real over rich. You hear me? I'm real over rich, nigga. I'm the, I'm the first motherfucker that get on the internet. No shirt on. And don't say nature, boy, because his ass was in fucking nature, nigga. I'm at the crib, nigga. Period. I'm at the motherfucking crib. I ain't trying to hear shit. I'm at the crib. You feel me? So don't get on this motherfucker Remember who the fuck live you on, G. I ain't never not kept it a buck. So I felt it. I, I, now I got to get on there and say it because I felt a little weight. You know what I'm saying? Like, goofies. Them, <laughs> smoothies. Don't get cloned. What? I'm the same individual turned down a $2 million record deal. Who the fuck is you talking to, nigga? Who is you talking to? You ain't talking to me. You better go run that shit with your favorite rapper who you would never sit under this post. With your favorite entertainer so y'all don't watch Netflix. Y'all don't watch movies. Y'all don't got nothing to do with Hollywood, huh? Y'all ain't got nothing to do with Hollywood. Fuck out of here. Ain't none of y'all ass in the crib just watching a blank wall. Motherfuckers don't even read. If you read, you wouldn't even need to, you would know half of the shit I'm saying. You can find in a book. If you look hard enough, it might not be verbatim, but you will get inspiration. Niggas don't be out here reading. I'm doing the reading for you and then letting you know what about telling you to go read. I didn't have to research for you. That's why when you come in here, you learn so much. I did all the hard leg work for a motherfucker. Then I had to go through. You ain't got to go through it because when I give it to you, I already went through it and dissected it for you. I'm the same motherfucker. Get on here, nigga, and say shit. And then the media come right behind me and say the same shit I say. Never heard the media address the Bermuda Triangle with no pyramids men at the bottom. Our ancestor ocean of Titan. None of that shit. I'll put the YouTube video out next thing you know, a month later. Scientists have discovered two pyramids at the bottom of the... Fuck out of here, nigga. I just made a motherfucking lecture about the Vatican. I ain't heard nobody say shit about the Vatican, nigga. Ain't heard a motherfucker say shit about it. Made a whole lecture on my website this week, past week, about the Vatican. Now I get on YouTube. Now I get on internet today. They, 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 they ride in, in Rome by the Vatican. And, and, and you know, and for the and for the individuals, you know, if you just came across my my content as me lecturing, well, 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 understand that I'm I, I was rapping before I ever gave a lecture. Go back and look. You feel me? And in my music, I always kept it real over rich. See what I'm saying? This real over rich shit, twelve years in the runnings, and it never blew up because I didn't sell out. Know the difference? See what I'm saying? The only reason everybody flocking to my content now is because we going through a grand awakening. So motherfuckers can actually appreciate my shit, nigga. I'm ahead of my time. What are you talking about? I was talking about this shit 10, 12 years ago. In my music at 18. When niggas was still talking about some, hey, outside of the club, 
Niggas think I'm a punk. Nigga, I wasn't trying to hear none of that shit. You feel me? I was already on this time. The world wasn't. You better go back and look up who, who, who Rashad Jamal, a.k.a. Jetty is, man. You motherfuckers be fake. Don't get on my shit disrespecting me on no form of energy. You know what I'm saying? Because if I catch it, I'm going to dress it, and it ain't going to stop none. But I just want you to know, I'm just like Jesus. Jesus hung with the sinners, man. I'm going to hang with the thugs, nigga. I'm going to hang with the gangsters, nigga, the drug dealers, nigga, the prostitutes, nigga, the hookers, the hoes, the, the, the have-nots. That's who I'm doing it for, the have-nots right now. All the nerds that society pushed out, all the weird people that society called weird, I love them. You feel me? Facts. Be yourself. It's people see me in the street. They don't, they, everybody don't understand Rashad Jamal and what I talk about. They see me with this on my finger and this shit, oh, that shit weird. I, hey, is it weird? Or, or am I just not scared to be who I was born to be? And you are. You see, is it weird? Because we're not supposed to look alike. We're not supposed to sound alike. And I get tired of all you niggas looking the same. I get tired of all your whack ass favorite rappers sounding the same. All right? I get tired of everybody, all the goddesses, everybody just doing the same time. You know what I'm saying? And then, this, this, this tripped me out too. Motherfuckers felt the way just because you see an Asian goddess, which would be she Asian and black, so that would be what, demi goddess? Or as, even if she was white, nigga, you might see a white model one day. So now that make me fake woke. So fuck all the content I'm giving you. Fuck everything I'm teaching you. Because if you really listen to me, you would always hear me say, I've never been racist. And my truth ain't changed for nobody white or black. If you white, you can kiss my ass. Don't get mad at me because you came out of Petri dish. And if you're black and you got a problem with me saying all white people aren't the enemy, you can kiss my ass. You see what I'm saying? I stand in truth. I don't give a fuck how you feel. I'm not your motherfucking hero, nigga. I'm not your motherfucking hero, nigga. I'm here to enlighten you. You take it to do what you need to do with it, nigga. I'm going to keep it real over rich. So, so all that insulting me shit, go take that to other motherfucking platform. Don't take that to no motherfucker that's actually enlightening you, man. And instead of you, and when you see my videos, you, you see me doing my thing, you should be inspired. You should be inspired. You should be like, you know what? What's crazy is he, he kept it real over rich, and he doing his own little thing, man. And I don't run no ads for my videos, nigga. You ain't see me run no ads for Dead Roses. It did like 50K. Okay, whatever it do, it do. I could easily go hire a marketing company and blow it up. I'm not fucking with, the, with, the, with Hollywood, nigga. Or, or black Hollywood. You feel me? You should be inspired. That it's a young, I'm, I'm, li I'm in a living example of what I'm telling y'all to do. Walk off the jobs, nigga. Do what you was put here to do. I'm going to use my music to enlighten and inform like I use my speeches. That's what I use my voice to do. High vibrations. So don't try to live vicariously through me. You see what I'm saying? Because then you get let down. You feel like I shouldn't associate with nobody but black, other black people, so now you let down. White people feel like, oh... He he should he should he he shouldn't say only his race is gods. He should say we all gods. Now they let down. You see, gay people like oh damn he he was cool until he said that 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 we ain't supposed to be gay, cause you're not supposed to be. See now the gay people mad at me, and then then the straight people get mad at me if it is a gay person that's vibrating high and I, I hold a conversation, I converse with them or take a picture with. So I guess if I do take a picture with a with a with a gay man, you gonna say I'm gay next, huh? Well, guess what? I'll just be gay. Because I might bump into a gay man and I won't probably, I don't have no problem taking a picture with him, a transgender, a lesbian, a stud, long as they vibrate in high. And if they willing to learn, they can they can they and they willing to change their ways. That's what I stand in. I oh, you see me too. So that's the same thing. I go to the hood. I go to the hood. That's like I took a picture with BMF Cash. He real BMF. Now everybody, oh. Oh, he he taking a picture with real, real, real street legends. He must be in the streets. Well, fuck you. I ain't gonna never turn my back on the real. See what I'm saying? I ain't turning my back on the real. I don't pass judgment. I pass enlightenment. Now, if you get offended, that's on you and your, that's you and your mama's fault. That ain't my fault. Because your mama should have raised you better. And your daddy should have been there to help her. That ain't my fault, though. You see what I'm saying? That ain't my fault. You feel me? I'm just being honest. Like I always have been. You get what I'm saying? I get attacked. I'm divinely protected. But I do get attacked. So that affects my family. Just for waking y'all up now. You got people that don't even appreciate me giving these free lectures. The first thing they see is the lecture come up that's not free. Oh, it ain't free. 
Why are you charging for information? Why is, why is Target charging you for clothes? Why is, why, is, why is Target charging you for clothes? For cloth, cotton that grows from the, from the soil. Why McDonald's charging you for cheese and burgers and beef? Cows, cows born naturally, even if he is eating beef. Why Nike charges you for Jordans and shoes? You know, you know all them, all the items that's used to make a shoe. You can, you know, you can get that out of nature yourself, right? Yeah. You see, it's funny how when when some when one of the gods become a business owner, you want to try to take advantage of, of the god. You should want to spend money with me because I've given a whole year and a half plus of nothing but real life lectures, nigga. It's over hundred plus free lectures right here. Some on his backup YouTube page, a hundred on my IG TV, on my Instagram page, and on the backup page is building. Then you got the free ones that's still on Facebook. What is she talking about? What are you that greedy? You that selfish? You should want to support me. You see me give back to my community. You see me tipping everybody. Anybody ever I work with get tipped. All the models got tipped that night. Cameraman got tipped. Warehouse crew tipped. The car we rented tipped. Engineer tipped. We pull up support black owned businesses. What you talking about? Why don't you want to support when you see I'm actually doing it in real life time? $33 don't hurt you. $33 don't hurt you. And I would have felt it more if, if, if I wasn't doing shit free. That's just like people reaching out for features. Don't reach out for no motherfucking features, you fucking leeches. If you want to, I don't want to do no features with you weak ass niggas to even begin with. Okay? If I wanted a feature, nigga, I can get a feature from any motherfucking industry rapper and pay them niggas. I'm cool. I'm not paying no nigga for no feature. My music represents a certain vibration. What am I featuring? Why am I going to mix my energy on the track with you for? I don't want to do no feature with you weak ass niggas. And I ain't got to tell you that shit trash to me. That shit trash to me, though. And, I, and I'm not just saying if you unsigned. I feel like this about the sign niggas. And the niggas that I like, niggas I like. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey, go here close that door. Like, for real. And the sign niggas, the sign niggas, that, I mean, the niggas that I do like, they not even, they not even signed. They not even signed. Like King Lowe's. You feel me? Motherfuckers like that ain't even signed. Give you know like, like, I'm just saying that's just real, though. Feel me? You should be looking at it like, damn, he living what he teaching us. Self-made. Business owner, married. Other motherfuckers see me taking pictures with the goddesses, the models at the us at the video shoot. Where your wife at? What type of what type of clown shit is that to say? You want to suck my dick anyway. So what happens was you see me with somebody else outside of my wife, and now you mad because you just know that my you just know they suck my dick that night, but they didn't though. You see what I'm saying? I'm on the set with my motherfucking family. My wife the one took the pictures, Smoothie. And y'all know we practice polygamy. And you ain't never even seen an extra wife because ain't nobody, ain't nobody been fit yet. You feel me? It's a process to shit like that. You don't rush shit like that. So I'm just being honest. You know what I'm saying? Like, another motherfucker, like, I thought you were celibate. Damn, cause I, so I took a picture with her. What are you, what are you talking about? Why is you, who told you I was celibate? I never told you that. I told you flat out what I was, nigga. I told you what I do, who I am. What is you talking about? I ain't hit myself on no level. What is you talking about? Everybody know I practice polygamy. What the fuck is you talking about? I tried to bring the light to it for y'all. Niggas ain't want to accept it. Okay, I didn't force it on y'all no more. That don't mean I ain't going to live my life. Now, why is you also assuming that because I took a picture with these three random FIFA males that something sexual took place? Because I, I don't move like that. You think I just dropped some dick off of them because they had the video shoot? I told them to wear that. Why my fuck? Look what they, I told them to wear that. You don't even know what the video about. You ain't even heard the song. You feel what I'm saying? Fake shit, fake people. And you ain't slowing nothing down that I'm doing. You ain't stopping no blessings. You ain't gonna be just revealing who you really are. This Rashad Jamal. So any, anything I present gonna be high on a metaphysical level. You ain't even put the color of the car was blue. You ain't even put they had on black. I picked them colors out. I write my own treatments, nigga. Everything is self-made over here. But let Young Dolph say he independent. Let Gotti and them say they're independent. Let these other rappers say they're independent. Y'all, y'all in the niggas post, niggas smiling, niggas dropping. Nigga, I'm out the mud with the people, nigga. I'm in the streets with the people. I'm accessible, nigga, in real life time. And that's the way you feel about the real ones. You know, you go, you are you gonna question the niggas that didn't sell out, but support the niggas that did? You know what I'm saying? That just go to show 
your vibration and why you ain't got shit in life right now. Feel me? I even posted a picture of me reading a book and I, I circled something for a reason. In the book of wisdom, it clearly says, and I've been doing this regardless. Be humble with your wisdom. Consult with the wise and the ignorant. That's why the streets sleep right now. You know how many young brothers, young good guys we got out there, but they lost selling drugs, they game banging, they pimps. They can't do nothing but rap. Or they working nine to fives. And they, they don't even know they lost, but they is. And guess what? You know why they still lost? Because nobody never re reached back for them. I reach, I'm reaching back for my people. Nobody never reached back for them. Every time we get somebody to get successful in this community, motherfuckers just keep going. Then they go off and become all Hollywood and shit. That's what happens. Every time. You see me not doing that because I'm fucking with the, with the, with the models. I'm going to fuck with the hood. I'm going to fuck with the white people that's vibrating high. I'm going to fuck with the gay people that's vibrating high. I'm going to fuck with my own kind that's vibrating high. You feel me? And once you wake up, my job, I'm a teacher. That shit don't stop with me because you woke up. Now I'm supposed to not reach back for the people that still not woke to make you feel something, feel better. Get out your root chakra. Stop being so selfish. You already saved. If you watch my shit and I didn't uh, enlighten you, that mean I helped you, right? That mean you sat in here and you learned something from the ancestors who spoke to me as a vessel. So we helped you. Okay, you saved now. You on the you you know what's going on. So now you know you you on the right path now. I still can't walk your path for you. You gotta walk your path for your motherfucking self. So you can't live through Rashad Jamal. You gotta go in there yourself and live your journey. I'm here just as a guide to help remember help you remember who you are. But once I help you get, look, once I help you cross that bridge, folks, I'm like Anubis. You know who Anubis is in Egyptian history, ancient Kemet? I'm like Anubis, man. Anubis is the ones that help the spirits transcend from realm to realm. You know what I'm saying? Anubis is with me. Reflection. And if you don't know who Anubis is, go look him up. A-N-U-B-I-S. Anubis, man. I'm, a, I'm, I'm at the gates, y'all. I can't keep walk. I can't walk your path, cause that ain't my journey. I'm a guide, nigga. Once I get you across the, once I get you across the lake of lies, I gotta. I don't get off the boat. I row up. I, I come pick you up. It be a bunch of souls just standing at the bridge. You know, y'all all be trying to get the truth, and then it's a whole lake of lies. But you can't get across this lake without no boat. Here I come through the fog. It's dark. I come through the fog on a boat, nigga. Rowing up, hoodie on. You don't even see my face. You just feel my energy, nigga. You know what I'm saying? I pull up, y'all, all the souls get on the boat. Now, now I roll them across the lake of lies, you know, get them across the lake. They get off the boat. They continue on their journey. I got to go back, turn back around, get more motherfuckers at the boat. That's what I do. That's what I'm, that's what I do. See what I'm saying? So how the fuck you mad at me? Because you hopped on my boat and I got you across the lake of lies and you feel like I supposed, the boat's supposed to dock right here because you made it across? Nah, Smoothie. That ain't, that ain't my job. That ain't your job. That's my job to go back and help others. So what the fuck is you questioning my divinity for? Worry about your divinity. Get your bitch ass along your journey and be thankful that I helped you cross the lake, nigga. Now I got to go back and help others cross the lake. So how the fuck now that you got to cross the lake, now you want to point at the strippers. Now you want to point and laugh at the white people or the gay people or other black people that's trying to find themselves. You want to laugh and point like, oh, ha, 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 ha. Oh, they this, they that, they ain't shit. We made it across. And then when I go back to help them, now I'm fake. No, you fake. Because even if you woke right now, how you going to forget about the people that's not? Just because you know what you know, it's still our people out here that don't know shit. Selfish motherfucker. See what I'm saying? Selfish. You just selfish. Feel me? Selfish. It's exactly what you are. You ain't trying to spread the information, nigga. That's, see, I'm not withholding no information, nigga. I ain't no motherfucking Freemason, nigga. I ain't, this ain't the look, this ain't no, this ain't the Bill Burger group, nigga. This ain't the Rockefellers. This ain't the 13 families. This ain't none of them secret societies, nigga. You want a motherfucker that's gonna hide some secrets, y'all bitch has to go join the Illuminati, the, the Bavarian Illuminati to be exact. Go, go join the Bavarian Illuminati. Go join the Freemasons. Go join the Knights Templar. Go join the, the, the Black Nobility. Go join the Boule and all these other motherfucking secret societies that like to find out the truth and then keep the secrets from the masses, nigga. I ain't one of them, nigga. So don't judge me for helping the rest of the mass. Get your bitch ass out of here, nigga. That's all I got to say. My disclaimer is out the way now. Welcome to the university. You feel me? Welcome to the university.
That's all I had to say. Welcome to the University of Cosmic Intelligence. You hear me? Right? Share the live three times. Go on Twitter, let them know. Share the live three times because we understand the power of the three, the six, and the nine. Go on Twitter, let them know we live. Go on Instagram, let them know we live. If you're in the university on the website, www.theuci.online. Go on the form, let them know we live. Let's set the little energy, let's set the energy real quick though. Let's set the energy. Let's set the energy. Or we even take off. set my ass down you hear me now that the energy is set i can set my ass down all right how y'all feeling today on this on this sun day you know they call it sunday because this is the day they used to worship the sun right the pagans did that's back when they was trying to be us and they realized they couldn't be us sun was cooking the shit out their ass and talk about bacon and eggs you hear me you know, you gotta be a god or a demigod to take in this son. You it's like it's like becoming a samurai. You gotta have to, you gotta have well, at least one gotta have some had to have blood in you. But you know, so you know the pagans, they used to try to worship the sun on this day. So that's why they call it Sunday. I mean, every day, y'all, I think I'm gonna make a lecture separately. Monday through Sunday, all of them have different little reasons why they had those days. But you know, why they call why they why they named them that. Be it all. Sunday, y'all. This actually is supposed to be the first day of the week, not Monday. The Sabbath is Saturday, if you believe in that still. You see how religion fuck you up? See how religion fucks you all the way over? Yes, it does. How many of y'all been watching Squid Games out there? Drop a nine if you've been watching Squid Games. I'm reading the comments. Shout out to none of the None, none on the run. Anunnaki God, what it do? Paula Walker, what it do? I see them Ninas dropping. I see them Nin things dropping. You hear me? I see them Rajon Rondos dropping in the comments. Yeah, man, y'all gotta go watch Squid Games if y'all haven't. It's a lot of people talking about it, but yeah. Oh, they, they medicine. I can make, no lie, I can make like... I could make a good nine lectures out of that month. Like for every episode, I just want to dissect it. You know what I'm saying? For every episode, I just want to dissect it. You know? I'm just being real out there because I'm like, I don't know if they see what I see. But sometimes I'll be like, I know y'all see it. So I don't even want to break it down. But then I got to remember, I'm divine insight. So I'm going to see it from a different, I'm going to be able to give a different perspective that the masses that y'all might not see. Cause I ain't gonna lie, that's about nine. That's about nine lectures right there. You feel me? I'm at one year lock this month. Let's give it up. Let's give it up for me, God. Whole lock gang. You know what I'm saying? You know how they had it like L's up for them haters and all that shit. L's up for the lock gang. 
I'm at one year locked officially this month. Hey, you feel me, you know? I told y'all I was gonna do this shit. Y'all ain't think I was gonna do this shit. I told y'all I was I'm, I was all the way in there last year. For those who was following from day one when I had the little afro, when I had the little Josh Childress Atlanta Hawks afro. When I had the little, the miniature Dr. J, 78 Philly. Number six Dr. J too. Not number 32 Dr. J. Remember Dr. J had, number 32 Dr. J, he had the big fro. I ain't had a big fro. I had the, I had the 1982 Dr. J Philly finals. You hear me? He had the little, he was elderly. He had the little fro. His shit was smushed in. Right now, my wife and my cousin, they over here watching the game. We watching the, uh, the Cowboys versus the Giants and shit. Bates over here chuckling, cheesing. She's over here, Chuck E. Cheese. Chuck E. Cheese, you hear? It? Hey, man. Okay. Give it up for everybody out there with the locks. You know what I'm saying? And if you don't got locks, it's okay. If you got braids, you're still there, man. I need everybody to just follow me, this guys and guys. It's like real shit. Y'all got to let y'all eat the grow. We going to get to these goddamn giants. I know that's what you clicked. I know that's what you came to here, but relax, nigga. We, you know us. When we get up in here, we do what we do, nigga. We ain't seen each other all week, nigga. We ain't jumping straight to the we addressing shit. You know what I'm saying? We addressing shit. I see Jamaican flags dropping. Yeah, I need I need the guys. I need y'all to grow that ether, man. Y'all gotta grow the grow the antennas out. Let the antennas hang. I'm trying to let y'all know. And for those who already got antennas, man, use them. Use them. I see some of y'all walking down the street, locks halfway down your ass cracking. You still call them dreads. I be wanting to go all upside your motherfucking shit. See what I'm saying? I be like, no, he just did. You need to, you might well cut all that off and start all the way over. Because you grew them from an ignorant point of view. And that's okay. We are all ignorant to different things at, at some in life. You know? I, that gets to me when I see a motherfucker with locks and dreads. I be like, <coughs> cut them shits and start all over. You all, you corrupted already. You're corrupted already. You don't even know what the hell you got on top of your damn skull cap right now. You see what I'm saying? You got to understand the science to everything. Feel me? It's science to everything. You know, and if you don't get the science, this ain't no trend. If you if you did it for the trend, it's okay, man. Just tap into it. Tap now. Tap now. They locks, they antennas. You feel me? You should know that. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing, there's nothing, there's nothing dreadful about being yourself. You know, there's nothing dreadful. You see this little lock right here just stand up on his own. It don't want to lay down like the other ones. That's that's nature. You see, some of them curl, some of them don't. That they just in a natural state. You know what I'm saying? You gotta see. You gotta understand the power of being yourself. You have to understand the power of being yourself. If you don't understand the power of being yourself and what comes with being yourself, how can you help us right now? Everybody saying they ready to go to war. Everybody talking about, yeah, they fed up. Okay, you fed up, but how can you be helpful though? We not moving without without order. We not moving rambunctiously around here, man. You just can't be fed up and argh, charge to the streets. For the greatest warriors never fight out of anger. You know? Even if you have every right to be, you got to self-discipline to contain it so that you can be strategic and effective when you strike. So if you don't learn to control your emotions, I'm ready to go, ready to go. But what is your placement on the field, though? You see, do you know that? Because we all got different ways to fight this battle. You get nothing accomplished just moving out of emotion. We can have a, we can have ten million people on the front line, 
But if we move out of emotion, 300 individuals will wipe us out. Because they was cool, calm, collective, and they was cool, calm, collective, and calculated. So we know we all riled up right now. This child sex trafficking thing is finna blow through the roof. Pizza Gate, sex trafficking, the kidnapping is gonna be the biggest story, man. Right now, it's still speculation. Because nobody really showed any proof. But those days. Those days are, are, are ending. You get what I'm saying? Those, <clears throat> those days are ending. Nobody showed any proof. You feel me? So when nobody's showing any proof, a lot of people don't really know how to handle it. You feel me? A lot of people don't know how to handle it. So at the end of the day, if a lot of people don't know how to handle it, then how are they to be able to understand the, the, the everything? You feel me? So, moving with no fear is just as important as moving constructively. What are your placement on the board? What's your place on the board? You just can't sit here and watch Rashad Jamal all day and watch other people and, and read books and be like, I know my place on the board. You got to sit with yourself to go within yourself to know your place on the board. The whole world can't jump on, on my shoulders, nigga. And we going to ride his shoulders to the finish line. It, we, what? What? How many more leaders must we lose with that mindset before we realize that don't work? We always got leaders, right? Or people that came along and spoke out and then the government, the CIA deemed them leaders and threats. And then the whole community come jump on their shoulders. And then when that leader collapsed and he get his head cut off, we back at square one. How many more revolutionaries must we lose before we realize that that strategy don't work? How many more of our peak brothers and sisters must become martyrs before we realize that that strategy don't work? Don't be impressed by me. Or nothing that comes out of my vessel. I see a lot of that. Man, I, I appreciate you. You ain't got to appreciate me. Appreciate yourself. I am you. Are you not listening to what I'm teaching you? Are you not understanding what I'm telling you? If you feel inspired by anything I'm telling you, then why are you not inspired by just looking at yourself in the mirror? Because I am you and you are me. So I am you. Really let that sit in your soul. I'm you, man. And if you're inspired by me, then I'm a reflection of your highest thoughts. That's all that is, but I'm still you. If you respect my fearlessness, why don't you respect yours? I am you. That's why we can all sit here and laugh and y'all be fucking with Rashad Jamal because it's you. You only fuck with something that you can relate to. I'm not fearless. I'm saying the shit you already be thinking. I'm you. In your raw form. 
uncut, hold no punches. Fuck them. The shit you be wanting to say to your boss at work. You see what I'm saying? I'm you. The shit you want to say to the police when you see him. You see me say, you like, yeah, that's how I feel. I'm you. I'm that feeling you feel. I'm your pain. I'm your happiness. I'm your strength. I'm your weakness. I am you. And you are me. That's why I always say peace, reflection. And if I don't feel like you vibrating high, I will never say reflection to you because I'm not going to cast that over my being. Because if you vibrate low, I can't say peace, reflection, nigga. Because I'm, no, 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 that ain't me. That's my lower self, though. That's a reflection of my lower self and my lowest thoughts, but I'm not going to cast it over me. So I'll say to somebody that's not vibrating low, I'll say peace, self. Oh, you need to crush that beast, self. I mean, a lot of individuals don't pay attention. Even if you watch how I comment and respond, to it, it be all straight. I don't miss a word. I'm a wordsmith. For real. I use every word because I mean it. This is what I do. Words. See what I'm saying? So if I use it, I meant it. I thought about it deeply. I salute the divinity in you all. What does that mean? Day one students, y'all should remember. I salute the divinity in you. For my soul recognizes that your soul and my soul is one through the universal force called creation. I am you, you are me. There is no separation. Peace, reflection. That's the full greeting. I just stopped saying the whole greeting. I broke it down to just peace, reflection. But the full greeting is, I salute the divinity in you. My soul recognizes that your soul and my soul is one through the universal force called creation. I am you. You are me. There is no separation. Peace. Reflection. I see you. So if you understand that concept, we won't be as quick to... Throw daggers at others. We would really seek to really help others. And others wouldn't throw daggers at us. They would really seek to help us. Because when you when you dagger, when you dagger me, you just dagger you. That's the only reason karma works. Karma doesn't exist. That's not a real thing. In actuality, you're just watching cosmic law. If we all won, look at everybody in your life as a mirror, nigga. And you just, whatever you do to that mirror, it's going to come back to you because it's you. That's the true reason two wrongs will never make a right. If I say, if I say fuck you for no reason, that's coming back to me. And then you turn around and say fuck me because you feel like I said, it, said fuck you. It's still going to come back to you because I'm you. We two, we two different ends of the same mirror. So when you get in the mirror, you see your reflection, right? Or a reflection. Everybody you meet in your life is a reflection of you. And did you know that the, the shit that we don't like in people, we only don't like it because we don't like that in ourselves? For example, like if you ever you ever been around somebody and they be like, you talk too much. See what I'm saying? They only saying that to you because they wish they could talk. They don't, they don't like the fact they can't talk. Or you ever been around somebody and they be like, you ugly. They only call you ugly because they think they ugly. See what I'm saying? We only see, ain't no such thing as flaws. You know what a flaw really is? Just you seeing the shit in your, you seeing your shit in yourself that you don't like. This is how deep this shit is, man. When you leave here, everybody leaves with you. Did you know that? Yeah, when you leave this realm, everybody leaves with you. When you dis when you transcend this realm and you leave this avatar behind for good, and you go to these other dimensions and you keep going, everybody go with you because you this whole reality was you. All everybody that ever came into your life, good or, or good or what you consider bad, <clears throat> and all your life lessons. That's all. That, that's all you. So it goes with you.
Because it's, it's your reality. And when you leave, it leaves with you. This is your soul's journey to get back to what the Buddhists used to call a state of nirvana or nirvana. However you want to enunciate it, same shit. That oneness with the universal creation, which is you. You're just getting back to yourself. Lifetime to lifetime, you're getting where you're working your way back home. You're working your way back up. To yourself again. You see this beautiful crystal sitting right here? That's us. One whole soul family. Shattering to all these different pieces. And now they calling it. Calling it now. Once these Peter. These, these, this, because it's infinite intelligence. Remember. Divine feminine energy is creativity. And the masculine energy is. Uh, is a, a provide and protect them. And the enforcer. That's what make. Uh. Dark matter, energy, dark. All right, that's where darkness comes from. That's what that is, right? The masculine energy created the darkness. The masculine energy is the darkness. And the feminine energy, the divine feminine energy is, is creative. It tells the darkness. It tells the masculine energy what to do. The masculine energy enforces it. So, from a solar point of view, we are split in half. We are the split to experience all these different dimensions and universes and galaxies and realities that we created in the beginning. The original 23 scientists. Like a video game. Got all these different levels to play that you got to get through. And then you eventually get back to the oneness. We all come back to this oneness. So... We could, they don't want us to come back to that oneness. We can't come back to this oneness right here. Because then we get this beautiful crystal again. Full of all this power. Full of all this power. Right? Let's take Papa Ogun, for example. Orisha. Powerful ancestor principalities, spirits, energy for you to work with, not work against. Same thing with, with Mama Oya right here. Right? We getting back to us. And we know it's in game, right? So you got energies rising. Kundalini to be exact. Which comes directly out of your kunda gland. Told you. The light cold lockdown was all about shutting down your thymus gland, pineal gland, neocortex. That's that's all up in here. And all of them affects the kunda gland. Which is why they call Kunta Kente, Kunta Kente in the movie Roots. Because the Kunda gland sits down there by the root of your spine. Which is where the kundalini energy rises from, the base of the spine, out of the root chakra.
So in the movie Roots, that's why they called it Roots. And that's why his name was, went from to his original, they changed his name to Toby. Was what they wanted him to be. But his name was Kunta. Kunta. Kunta Kente. Remember the scene when they was whipping him? What's your name? Boy. He was tied up. He kept saying, Kunta. Kunta Kente. Go watch Roots and see exactly count how many times they made him say that in the movie Roots. Because the screenwriters that wrote that, they were using light magic. They were mocking us with the whole movie. And then he whipping them. He whipping the Kunda gland into submissive, into submission, so that he would never rise again. Kunta Kente represented the kundalini energy in the movie Roots and how they contained it with physical slavery. And they could have named Kunta Kente any name to play that role. He could have been any name. They made up that name because they were talking about the kunda gland, which where the kundalini energy sprouts from, down by the tailbone, which is where the root chakra is located at. So that's why they called the movie Roots. Because these are your roots, and they also want to keep you in your root chakra. They tamed the kundalini energy when they made them convert from kum to kente to Toby. So they basically told you how they took your power away. What's your name right now? You don't know it. You're going to say some American name with a last name that some slave master gave your great, 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 great granddaddy. And your great, 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 great grandmama. I don't give a fuck how much we cross marry, nigga. I don't care if you a goddess and you was born Jones and you got married and your name turned to Johnson. Slave master names. Give a fuck if you a god and, and, and your last name is white like mine, then you change it to, to X. We gave them alphabets because they wasn't able to use the frequencies that we use. So you're still using slave master energy. We talk using clicks, vibrations, never words and telepathy. Okay. Your kundalini energy has been tamed, Toby. You was Kunda Kente to your oppressor beat you into Toby. In this end game, black people and Latino people must realize that they are not black people and Latino people. That they are gods and goddesses. And you got demigods. These are our black brothers and sisters that's mixed with the human being genome. But that black genome gonna always override the human being genome. That's what make them demigods. Because the human being gene is a recessive. It's recessive. It's not dominant. Remember, Yaqub, Satan, in the beginning, to create them, he separated, he spliced. So this means he separated the black gene from the brown gene. He discovered... Two germs. He separated them. The black from the brown, but the brown came out of the black. That's why every cell has a, has a nucleus. He separated. He went inside. He took our mitochondrial DEA and he went inside and he spliced the nucleus of it. He separated the cell membrane through a process called eugenics. So that's why it's going to always be recessive. The human being genome. Nevertheless, they have spirits. So you can't say all human beings are bad.
Because they're not. All white people aren't bad. That's just a fucking lie. You got white people right now that's vibrating. Human beings that's vibrating. White, Asian, Mexican, Dravidian, Arabs that's vibrating higher than our own gods and goddesses simply because they are aware of who they are and what they are. Electrical beings. Human beings are still electrical beings. They require nothing but electricity too. But they don't have a soul, so they lack the magnetism. But in the end game, that's a chess move from the oppressors for us to race war with the human beings, which we not supposed to do. We only attack those hierarchy human beings that's vibrating low. The ones that rule the system, that control everything, that got all the chips. The ones that own your jobs that you work for. The ones that make you pay taxes. The ones, the litigators that make the laws. The ones who increase the parking tickets. Let you know what the city budget going to be. Let the taxpayers know how much taxes they got to pay. The people who select the presidents, because it ain't you. That's just, that's just entertainment to keep down anarchy. They could never let the masses know that your vote didn't count because the motherfuckers would have been revolted a long time ago. So the best way to, to pimp a hoe is to make the hoe not know she's a hoe. So that's what your oppressor does to you. And he doesn't just do it to the gods and goddesses. He does it to human beings too. But if this hoe don't know she a hoe, you can pimp her. That's what pimps do. I come out of Chicago. I know how they pimp. I'm from the home of that shit. That's what pimps do. Sell the hoe all these dreams. You know how he get the hoe? How he break the hoe? Let me tell you what pimps do. So he first she comes to him, a goddess, right? Maybe just a lost goddess, but she's a goddess. He understands she needs protection. He understands she don't know who she is. But he don't go right at her and attack her to, to pimp her out. That ain't what he do. He love on her for like a year. He give her things. He be there for her. He make her feel like she's this special individual. Two, three years down the road, you know, she like, damn, you know, he loved me. That ain't nothing he won't do for me. Then he begins to come to her, you know, with this idea that could help them become successful. See, when the pimp promotes his agenda, he never makes it seem like it's about him. That ain't pimping at all. Key word. He comes to her about this agenda and he makes her, he persuades her into believing that this agenda will help them. And they, that's, they, that's why in the 48 Laws of Power, they say if you want to get somebody help, all you got to do is go to them and make them feel like it's beneficial to them. That ain't shit but basic pimping one-on-one. -on -one. So when the pimp approaches the hoe, he make her feel like she ain't a hoe. And that this, this, this business move will help them. He has manipulated her to the point of trust so she won't question his leadership. She, when she's walking the street and she's selling that pussy, she don't see it as selling pussy. He has changed her view of things. And it's all about perspective. All she sees is, I have to make a way. I have to protect my baby. Because see, she's a goddess. So a, a female being emotionally being the goddess, being number one, the initial creator, we are the babies of our goddess species. So this is why a woman will always be soft on a male. If a nigga broke, you could go to a nigga, but man, I'm broke, I'm fucked up. You're like, all right, all right, I hear you. But if he go to a goddess with that same story, she gonna feel sorry for him and she might give his ass the money. This is why it's niggas all around America sleeping on couches, living off their women right now as we speak, nigga. You see? That's pimping. That's a form of pimping. Because that's just a basic understanding of the understanding of the, the, the nature of our of, of the other species. All pimps are master psychologists. He understands that it's in her nature to be submissive. It's in her nature to tend to his needs. So she going to see like, I got to protect my baby. I got to help make sure my baby is okay. So if that means, you see what I'm saying? Survival kicks in. Remember, no different than a mother bear. No different than a mother bear would go... No different than a mother bear is willing to run in front of a thousand. Uh, look, it could be an army of a thousand men with tanks, nigga. 
The mother bear, if they take her, if they take her cub, she's going to run. She's going to run up in front of them tanks. She ain't give a fuck she gonna die. You ain't finna just take her cubs. You're gonna have to kill her, nigga. Okay? That's a natural instinct of a, a feminine energy. So her instinct gonna kick in, and now she's walking the street trying to protect her cub. Her instinct kicks in. And God is a lot of y'all that's watching this shit do this right now with y'all niggas. Nigga been living off you for years. And because of that same motherly instinct right there that I'm speaking about. So the pimp understands that, you know, the pimp understands that. And he understands her need, her need to, to, because of this thing. I don't give a fuck how strong a goddess is. It's just about the right God. Because a God wouldn't do that. Let me say the right nigga. The right nigga could take the strongest goddess and turn her ass, turn her, and break her down if he if he gets her to fall for him. If she love him, it ain't nothing she won't do for him. A nigga could love you and it'll still be some limitations. Goddess love you fast. Niggas get locked up. Who the ones coming up there? Your mama, your girlfriend that you cussed out, your girlfriend you been cheating on, your baby mama that you fucked, 10 other chicks on, nigga. You feel me? She up there, though. She up there, though. This is the same one. If something happened to you, come on, guys, let's be real. It don't never be our niggas running up. But, but, but a nigga will be like, he'll put his goddess on hold for his homies, though. We didn't did that because I'd have been there before. I'm not like that anymore. But in my lower self, I used to, man, I'm with the homies, man. But nigga, shit go bad. Nigga, the homies don't never have your back like your mom or your girl or your wife. That They will never go down like that or your female friends. It'll never go down like that. They, they are a nurturing species, man. So once they love you, it's hard. You got to really fuck them over. You know what I'm saying? And that's where the woman scorn should come in. Hell have no fear. Because if you do fuck them over, now you're going to see why they was the fucking, why they the X chromosome. Because they are so fucking analytical with their brains. You know what I'm saying? So if they if they trying to take your ass down, they going to concoct that shit right. Because they didn't put all, they, all, the, all the neurochemistry into this shit to do it. Even if it is an unrighteous cause, like my baby mama did with me. Is she unrighteous, but look how she plotted this shit out, though, nigga. <laughs> you feel me? Look how she strategic she was. Hell have no fury like a woman's scorn. Right? So understand the pimp understands that this how he able to get this hoe to do whatever she want to do. And we could be on the outside like, what's wrong with her? Listen. You can talk about a hoe selling pussy, but you know different. You ain't got to sell pussy. How many goddesses has been in relationships? Y'all or y'all got friends and she be with this nigga, his dog. And you be like, why the fuck she with him? What's she seeing him? And she still be with the nigga. That's no different than us looking at the hoe walking the strip. Like, why is she out here letting him get pimp? What's she seeing him? What you seeing the nigga you've been with 13 years has been pimping you. He just ain't got you on the street. It's a million ways to pimp now. You see, I come from this shit, I know. So, at the end of the day, understand that your oppressor is pimping you the same way. Make you feel like you was part of his establishment, his country. Gave you a voice, a major think you had one, when he gave you the right to vote. Now you feel like you got a voice. That's no different than the hope, you know. The hoe that been with him the longest, now she the bottom bitch. So when he bring with the bottom bitch, gotta go out and get more hoes. She bring more hoes into the house. Now she the bottom bitch and she she the voice. You know, the pimp just talked to her and she controlled the hoes. So even though she still ain't shit with a hoe, she's so manipulated, she feel like she got a voice just because he got her speaking over other hoes. Nevertheless, she's still a hoe in the house. But she in worse position than them hoes. Cause she really, she's a hoe in the house that thinks she got some power. No, you're still a hoe in the house. <laughs> That's no different than them black slaves that used to be out there overseeing the other slaves. House Negro, you. You still a house Negro. You don't own this plantation. And hoe, you don't own this house. At any moment, you could not be the bottom bitch anymore. Ho, same thing with the house Negroes today. You don't own nothing in this country. See, you don't own nothing in whatever country you chiming in from right now. 
You know? But you got to walk that strip, though. You got to get up and walk that strip and take your ass to work every day, ho. And you're going and you gonna to pay them taxes. We taxing that, ho. We taxing that ass, ho. That's what it is. Oh, you think you don't want to work a nine to five? You want to sell drugs and get it the fast way, huh, ho? Oh, so you, you a ho. You a ho that's going to talk back in the house, huh, ho? Oh, we got you. Go on ahead, ho. Talk your shit in the house. Go on ahead, ho. Sell your drugs in my house. Keep in mind, ho, I'm going to let you know how many drugs you can get because I'm the one giving them to you. And then when I get tired of you talking shit, ho, because you the, you the uppity ho in the house. That's how the drug dealers look. You the uppity ho. You think you got away because you making you you making a lot of money tax-free, huh? That's what I'm saying. You got your chest out, huh? Go on here, ho. Run that bag up because that bag still come back to me. When you go buy this jewelry and these fancy cars and this designer, that bag come to me. Who you think own all that, ho? All right? And then when I get tired of you talking, I'm going to just take all your drugs and seize all your cars. Hold on. Hold on. When I get tired of you talking, I'm going to take all your drugs, ho, and seize your cars, right? And redistribute your drugs back out to other drug, other hoes that's trying to come up like you in the house. And then what I'm going to do with you, ho, I'm going to lock you up, throw away the key, and remind you who daddy is. Respectfully. Ho. That's for the uppity hoes that, that think because they in the streets getting money the illegal way, the, the fast way. You know, you know, you know, cause cause any real drug dealers, them niggas doing years, man. You feel me? Them niggas doing real years, nigga. Fuck what they did when they was free. Look, look how long that lasted compared to the years they had to do. You see what I'm saying? And, and uh, if you want to be an op, uh, so so you don't want to work on our nine to five plantations, and you don't want to sell drugs. Oh, you want to start your own business, like people like myself, free thinkers. Oh, okay. I see what type of hoe you is. So you that hoe that's going to sit in this household and got the nerve to have a brain and plot some shit and, and get away, huh, hoe? You want to start your own business, huh? You want to be an entrepreneur, huh? You one of them hoes. Oh, oh, oh. So, so now you don't need daddy no more. You don't need, you don't need, you don't need America. No. You don't need me no. You don't need Uncle Sam no more, huh? Bitch, you got the nerve. You a vindictive hoe, ain't you? I took care of you, your mama. Her mama, her mama, 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 I've been taking care of your whole family before you even got here. You got the nerve to not help me keep making money? You want to make some money for yourself, huh? Oh, then you want to make money and you want to, you know, the truth tellers like myself and others. Oh, so you that hoe in the house don't want to know what's going on and you want to alert the other hoes. Bitch, if you want to leave, just leave, but don't wake up the rest of the hoes in the house. Now you're fucking with my money. You see what I'm saying? Now I got to cut you, hoe. So that's why the truth tellers like myself, we get cut, you know, because we the hoe in the house that want to wake up the other hoe. So we, we the deadliest hoe because we going to fuck up the whole operation. Like, like bitch, if you want to leave, this is how Uncle Sam feel. Hoe, if you want to leave, leave. Because I can always get another hoe. But I'll be damned if you wake up the rest of the hoes. Now you're fucking with my money, bitch. I got to cut you. I got to cut you. I got to cut you short and I got to cut you off. However I got to do it, it must be done. Whether it be tax evasion, drug case, gun case, we'll make up, we'll we'll hire 25 bitches to say you raped them, nigga. And we'll write articles, nigga, it don't matter, nigga, because we run everything. But ho, I gotta cut you. Or if I gotta flat out put a bullet in your motherfucking head, and, and we gonna Tupac your ass, Nipsey hustle your ass, Prince your ass, you feel me? And, and left eye you, you feel me? Bar Marley you. You know they put that shit in Bar Marley's shoes, man, to make them prick his total for that shit. Even come on, man. They knew he loved shoes, man. You gotta understand how to how to pimp work when the hoe wanna wake up the rest of the hoes. See what I'm saying? You the most deadliest hoe in the house. Now I gotta cut you. Fuck slapping you. I gotta cut you. <laughs> you trying to fuck up a, a nigga's a, a corporation. You know. You know, you they don't like when you fuck with their money. You know what I'm saying? You can fuck with anything with their money. Now you, now you fucking up, ho. Now you doing too much. You know, and that's how they be looking at us in here when I be like, walk off their corporations. Like what? This nigga just did. This nigga just try to crash the entire global infrastructure. Did he just tell everybody in America, white or black, 
And in the world, to walk off their job, this nigga, this nigga got some nuts. Oh, this hoe. Oh, okay. You wanted them Tina Turner hoes. So you think you're gonna whoop my ass in the limousine at the end of the movie, huh? You wanted them Tina Turner hoes, huh? You think you finna whoop my ass in the limousine at the end of the movie? We got you. That's how that's how America feel about me, y'all. The elites. Like, oh, okay. I see what type of hoe he is. So he think he Tina Turner, huh? He think he one of them hoes gonna fight back and whoop a nigga at the end of the movie. Uh-uh, nah. Nah, Tina. We ain't doing that. We gonna show you what I should've did with you. You see what I'm saying? He was gonna fuck you up. He should've just fucked you all the way up. Because in the end, he lost. In the end, he lost. That's how they look at it. You know? You know? It's different holes in the house. But you must realize we are all holes in this pimp called America in these elites house. We can't rise until we realize that. I'm just using a metaphor. I'm just metaphorically speaking right now, you know, for the sake of, for lesson's sake. Let him who has eyes see clearly now. And we go wrong when we, when we argue with each other, just like hoes do in the dressing room at the strip club. Girl, he threw me a hundred. Bitch, you ain't got no ass like that. Well, bitch, you ain't even working the light right. Well, bitch, you ain't working the stage right. Well, last weekend I made a thousand. Bitch, last weekend I made five thousand. But do y'all both know that y'all some hoes right now? And y'all can do other things with y'all life. No, you don't. Just like Squid Games. You see what I'm saying? No, we don't. We don't recognize we all some hoes, y'all. It's like Squid Games. Nigga, we could get up, nigga, in the whole game, nigga. You know what? Nobody going to work Monday. We dumped the game. And, and, and when we walk in the grocery store, we ain't nobody paying for shit neither. We just gonna walk in, get what we need respectfully, and we gonna all walk out. <laughs> we ain't gonna come in loud. We not coming in loud. We not coming in aggressive because when you know what you own, you ain't gotta do all that. We coming in the doors, whatever we need. We gonna still grocery shop. We just go get what we need respectfully, nice, cool, calmly. We we ain't gonna, we not answering no questions, so don't ask us none. We just gonna come in, get what we need, and we gonna politely leave out. You feel me? You know? You feel me? Because this all this our land. You get what I'm saying? In the moment we just all, because we at the table, y'all. Nigga, we at the table. Nigga sweating. The game, they got tough. Nigga sweating. Niggas got the dice. Niggas can't even roll them right no more. Niggas like, I gotta hit this one. No, you don't. Because if we see the pot right there, how about fuck what they saying? We see the pot right there. How about we just pick up the pot and split the pot amongst each other? Why we gotta compete for? That's the game. That's the game. We playing the game and we losing the game because we don't own the game. So we'll never win. They, when will we realize? I need all the gods, the goddesses to come together. All the high vibrational human beings. This shit ain't about black and white no more. They coming after your kids, man. And you, right? Just like in Squid Games. That's why I love it. Ooh, it's so crucial. that Hey, that shit's so cold. Boy, they put, nigga, they put in there what they do. They ain't, they ain't even hide it. All the way down to the dude sucking his dick. Hey, if you suck my dick, I'll, I'll change your life forever. I'm trying to tell you, they come like that. They come like that. At all levels. It ain't just Hollywood. Motherfuckers do the same thing in them big Fortune 500 companies. Oh, you want to be the CEO of a Fortune 500 company, huh? What you willing to do for it? How hard you willing to go? How deep you will, How deep are you willing to swim? You know, because we got to know we can trust you. See, the reason they make people do that, all this crazy shit like eat body parts and do crazy shit. It's because they need dirt on you. So if you ever break the, the deal that you made, they can expose your ass and end you overnight. When all this sex scandal, scandal should be coming out, that's, that's when celebrities go back on their contracts. Renege. Oh, you want to renege, huh? 
next day. There's a sex tape with leak. Where it come from? Show circulated fast. They gotta have that is some motherfucking power right there. And then you see the celebrity, you think they bullshit, nigga. They don't be bullshit. You think it'd be a humiliation ritual. They do them sometimes. But majority of the time, it'd be a celebrity that ain't doing what the fuck they supposed to do. They come a lot of ways. Oh, you. <laughs> you what? You said you ain't gonna do what no more? You ain't with that no more. Oh, okay, cool. Hello? Hey, remember the, the tape we had on Robert Kelly back in the day when he pissed on the 11-year-old? Yeah, we, we, we made him do it. He's, we told him if he really wanted the record to blow, he had to piss on three of them. All right? You still got... All right, I need you to make sure that TMZ, everybody gets their hands on that, all the top internet outlets. I need it. Yes. Yes. Expeditiously. Thank you. You hear me? Niggas get on their phones the next day like, yeah, nigga, and then see what's going up. Damn, what Kale's on? Share this shit. Facts. We laughing, but it's, it's facts, though. It's, a dirty, it's dirty like that. <laughs> we laughing, but for real, though. I've been in the meetings. I know how they work. I've been to... Two parties. I know how they work. See? I know how they work. You go to the parties before you even get the offer. You see? They want to test you. So, a lot of individuals, the public, don't know how it work. That's why I like Squid Games. I'm like, ooh, that shit cold. They ain't never. I'm like, well, you know it's in game. It's in game. They got to show it to you. In a way, it's like them begging for your mercy because we rising. They know it. We going back into the giants that we used to be. You see how we slide right into the topic? We rising. It's a lot of motherfucking movies, nigga. It's on Netflix right now and shows. See? They don't fear me. They don't fear you. They fear our rise. That's the whole, that's the whole purpose of police officers. Why you think it's fuck 12, nigga? Them the original slave catchers. I don't even know why we calling them 12 in the police. Niggas need to call them what they is. Slave catchers. But you, for you to call the police slave catchers, you would have to admit first that you, the, that we the slaves. And that's a hard pill to swallow. See, the truth hurt, don't it? But I, I like a little pain sometimes. Because I like to wake the fuck up. I don't like to be sleep too long. Not if it's gonna cost me and my, spe my species our lives. We shouldn't even be calling them 12. Cause if we called them what they was, niggas will respond a whole lot more aggressively around this bitch. You see how different that is? We're not gonna call them slave catchers anymore cause then these niggas gonna know they still slaves. So we just gonna call them the police. But we gonna keep the symbol though. But look, if a blood throw a blood, or a vice lord throw a vice lord, or a GD throw up GD, or a BD throw up BD. I don't give a fuck what you call it. Or a Crip throw up Crip, nigga. I don't give a fuck what you call it. It's, it's, it's a gang. It's an organization, right? <laughs> he could be like, man, I ain't no, I ain't no, I ain't no motherfucking BD no more. Feel me? I'm Vice Lord. What? Yeah, I'm Vice Lord. Well, nigga be like, what? I ain't Vice Lord no more. I ain't no Latin King no more. I'm GD. What? I'm not no Latin King no more. I'm GD. Like what? He just threw up Latin King. He just threw up the crown. Again, I'm confused right now. <laughs> I don't give a fuck what they call them. CIA, FBI, MPD, military police, MPs, military police, the police, nigga. Nigga. Secret service, nigga. Private eye, nigga. Detective, nigga. White shirt, nigga. I don't give a fuck what you call them, nigga. They are slave catchers. That's all I see. That's all I see. That's what they is. I don't give a fuck what pigment in their skin. 
And if you the police and you watching this, and you don't know that you're a slave catcher, that might hurt your feelings right now. But just go look at that badge that you're sporting. And let's look at where it came from. If y'all not still slave catchers, why they give y'all the same badge? They could have gave y'all a whole new symbol. Kept the symbol, changed the names. So yeah, that's how they get the police. That's how they get y'all. They know some good officers out there. But that's how they get y'all to, to hurt the people. They use y'all. The good ones, at least. Most of them not, though. Because, see, when you take on that symbol, it holds energy to it. So, once you put that badge on, you got to be what? Loyal to the badge. You an officer. You know I ain't lying. If you, if you work in law enforcement, nigga, what are you loyal to? What did you pledge to? Huh? What do they make you turn in if they kicking your ass out that fraternity? Your badge. Nigga, that badge is everything, nigga. When they kick you out, they say, turn in your badge and your gun, don't they? Don't they? Yeah. I know they do. I know they do. You loyal to the badge. And what that badge stand for. Yeah. What that badge stand for. You protecting and serving. What you protecting and serving. What that badge stand for. Oh, slave catchers. So what you protecting? The land, their interest from us getting our land back. And that's who you serving. You protecting their interests and their agenda, the slave owners, and you're serving them because that's who pay you. Don't you got a quota? Yes, you do. I don't give a fuck if you a traffic police. You got a quota to make every month. Every motherfucking law enforcement cop got quota to make. You have to make certain arrests. Every month. So what that mean? That mean a whole lot of motherfuckers got to get locked up at the end of the month. Even if they didn't do shit. Because you got a quota to meet. That's why it's dead cops, nigga. That's why we smoking dead cops, nigga, right now, nigga. That's why I tell the shorties, ain't no more smoking ops. If y'all going to say y'all smoking something, say we smoking dead cops, nigga. That's why it's fuck the police. That's why it's fuck the system and fuck the CIA, nigga. And fuck the FBI. And I'm going to be here to see it all change, too. I'm Neo. I'm going to be here to see it change. Ain't no, I'm not here to see it change. Nigga, I'm going to be here to see it change. Nigga, I'm going to make sure of that. Because one thing I noticed about all our leaders that became martyrs or revolutionaries or outspoken people, they never fought y'all back. No, they didn't. Malcolm ain't get a chance to fight y'all back physically. Y'all snaked him. He was the brother Malcolm was in the middle of a, of a speech. And then like y'all came on some gangster shit. Called him. Y'all would have caught him at the crib. He would have got out on y'all ass. He went in the windows with them rifles for nothing. They're getting them AKs for nothing now. Yeah, y'all snaked him. Same thing with Martin Luther King. He ain't get a chance to fight back. Y'all shot him on the balcony. See, that's the pattern I noticed. Y'all are always snaking motherfuckers. Nobody has yet to fight y'all back. They'll speak out against y'all and fight that way. And then they get assassinated. Or their character get assassinated. Nigga, I'm going to fight y'all ass back, nigga. That's the difference. That's the difference, nigga. Because I know I look at it like, hey, if I'm going to go, I'm going to go. I'm not going without a fight, nigga. That's all I'm saying. And I ain't going to stop truth telling to my people under no circumstances. And I ain't going without a fight. Period. Because I know my ancestors back me. I know the planet with me. And who's to say when you come to kill me, you don't die. It don't matter how many you come with. That could be the same amount of motherfuckers that'll be laying down on the ground. Can't shit happen to me unless my ancestors say so. And I speak like this knowing y'all watching me right now. Nigga, y'all raided this same crib. Nigga, on some bullshit. Nigga, and I was out of town. I ain't did nothing but waking my people, man. Thought I ain't gonna come back home. I'm gonna come right back home, nigga. This is my home. One of the many homes I have here in this reality. So when I say many homes, meaning I have many homes in these universes. Not like many homes and houses are like around the planet and no shit. No, I mean many homes as in many homes around the universes. We are multidimensional beings. 
I'm not preaching hatred. I'm preaching love ourselves. I'm not saying let's go out and kill police officers for nothing. But I'm preaching defense, nigga. We ain't backing down from y'all bitch ass. Y'all ain't gonna keep doing what y'all want to do with us no more. Not without resistance. And that's righteous. Is it not righteous? Do we not have the right to defend and protect ourselves? When y'all trying to hurt people just because they waking people up? When y'all trying to hurt people because they trying to speak out against y'all, against y'all jabs? It's videos online of y'all beating motherfuckers for speaking out against the jab and refusing it. No matter white or black. Rich or poor. Don't none of that matter right now. Give a fuck if you got money or not. Are you vaccinated? You see, it used to be you could have a lot of bread and you good. Not no more. Y'all don't see how quick it changed? Are you vaccinated? You feel me? You feel me? You feel me? <laughs> it used to matter whether you had money or not. Not no more. Because you can have all the money in the world, nigga. You, you ain't leaving this motherfucking country unless you're vaccinated. Or right, did you get the jab? You ain't going no motherfucker where it Give a fuck what you got in your account. Did you get the jab? So who really got more power right now? A rich motherfucker without the jab? Or a broke motherfucker with it? <laughs> money, shit. Nigga, you used to cut. Uh, I got money. We finna five-star restaurant. Not anymore. You ain't finna five star nothing. Did you get the jab? You did? You ain't coming to this motherfucker. We ain't worried about your money. This is backed by the federal government, so we gonna make money regardless. See, see, you know when the federal government backing some shit, because businesses ain't worried about losing no money. Government told them we gonna make sure y'all make the same amount of money every month, just enforce this shit. Oh, okay, cool. We good. Now we good. As long as we know we gonna eat. Up, oh, look, you, you, you ain't getting in the restaurant. And in a minute. Yo, fuck how much money you got. You ain't buying no car. You ain't even getting in the car lot. On the car lot. I got, I got 10,000 on me, you know what I'm saying? I'm finna go in here, get this old school nigga, throw some things on it, nigga. As soon as you hit the lot. I see all that cash on you right there, young man. But can I see your, your COVID car? You don't, you don't have it. You don't, you don't have anything? Nigga, you know, Nick. Cause you know we notorious for not having some shit, but still patting our pocket like we got it. Nigga, no, you ain't got no C O V I D on you, nigga. Like, hey, hey, nigga, I can see it now. It comes to the lot, like, yeah, you know, so I got ten racks. Let me get that red, that Chevy SS, right? That's a seventy-eight. Oh, that's a seventy-two. Definitely, let me get that. Oh, 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 hold on, sir. Hold on, sir. <laughs> now, you know, they get the rocket on their toes and shit. You know, the little salesman, they now. Uh, uh, I, I like the fact that you come ready to spend, you know, uh, and I, 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 I don't like to be the one to in, inform you of this, but uh, you, would you happen to have your COV ID on you right now? Nigga, like, COV ID? <laughs> yeah, I brought it. I know I got it. I'm going to just run to the car because I'll be right back. Then we notorious for embarrassing ourselves. Niggas still come back from the car like, yeah, I ain't seeing it in there, but if you just let me get in here this time, you feel <laughs> Right now, it don't matter. It don't matter. Do you have your COVID on you? Boy, I want to go to Jamaica all year. Why y'all think y'all ain't seen me and my wife overseas, nigga? Nigga, we would have been over there. Nigga, we living it. Nigga, we got to stay right here because I ain't fucking with it. I ain't fucking with it. I ain't getting no tests, nigga. Y'all ain't hitting my nostrils with nothing. Because I know how slick you motherfuckers are, nigga. Y'all ain't finna hit me with nothing. Ain't no, you just going to get the test. and nip, nip. If you want to get the test and you go overseas, nigga, overseas going to wait fucking with me. 
Because I already know they be watching Rashad Jamal. I'm liable to motherfucking go overseas and then they won't let a nigga come back. You feel me? I can see it now. Nigga, do take it up. You're clear to go. Nigga. Hey, you hear me? They get it. They now they want to fuck with the lie. They get it. They. Um, Mr. Mr. White. Um, I don't know how to inform you of this, but maybe you're gonna have a seat. Yeah, I think you need to have a seat. Y'all feel me? They're like, no, nah, because you know they come in because they fucking with the live, y'all. You know how they get when they get real. But yeah, you know, motherfucker come in. Now, on the way there, nigga, good. Yeah, you're, you're clear to go. Nigga, get over there. Nigga, get back. Mr. White, we need you to take another one. I was just me. I was good when I came, but well, I got to take another one. Just got to make sure you're good for you before we send you back to the USA. They're, they're very strict over there. Okay, cool, man. Give me the goddamn test again. Come on. I know I should be good. Nigga, I, then they come back like, um, Mr. White, um, Mr. Mr. Jamal, because I don't like white. I'm like, nigga, don't call me. Nigga, don't call me that slave master shit, nigga. I'll take Jamal the goat. Just call me my first and my middle name, goddamn it. Drop the last. God damn it. Oh, okay, okay. So, Mr. Jamal. Mr. Jamal. Um, I think you might want to have a seat. Have a seat for what, nigga? Why? Why I wanna why I wanna have a seat? I'm taking a flight. Why am I trying to have a seat? You feel me? I don't even need a seat. And, 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 then, and then they turn and then and then they turn around and they like, have your seat. Now I'm gonna take my seat. Now they talk about, oh yeah, um, well, basically. Basically, you um, what you have going on is you have COVID. What? Ain't no COVID, nigga. You better let me on this motherfucking flight. You know what I'm saying? What you mean to have a seat, nigga? The flight they boarded now. You know what you mean, Mr. White? Um, we just got the test results back. You, you might want to have a seat. What I need a seat for, nigga? They boarded right now. You can, you can tell me whatever is needed right here and there. You can tell me whatever needed to be said right then and there. You feel me? You can tell me whatever needed right, right then and there. Y'all feel me? Like, for real, tell me right then and there. They're boarding the flight now. Don't tell me. Tell me right then and there because they boarding the flight now. You get what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, you feel me? No, I'm not getting on no goddamn flight. They're going to try to leave my ass over there. And fucking with certain y'all, because a lot of y'all fucking me, but some of y'all be fake kicking it. Like I have 3,000, it's probably 1,500 people that genuinely fucking me that'll be over there, that'll be right here going crazy. Like, y'all better let them back over here. Or we gonna sit this bitch up. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Because I can see the country now, like, knowing that well, I ain't got nothing. Tell that nigga he got some shit, he ain't come back over here. <laughs> Don't let that nigga back shit. We that nigga over there in Montego Bay. <laughs> he better get used to the island, goddammit. Hey, you hear me? They lead that nigga over there in Montego Bay. He, be, he better get used to the island, nigga. We not letting this. Y'all ain't they gonna try to Marcus Garvey me, y'all. They ain't doing me like that. I'm like, fuck that. I'm gonna stay right here. Right here. Right now. Fuck you talking about. I ain't finna fuck. I ain't taking a risk. Bay like, no, nah, but they ain't gonna. I'm like, bae, you crazy. Man, what? As much shit as I talk on this internet to these to these white racist crackers up in the 13 families, I know they'll leave a nigga over there. Do not let that nigga back in. No, tell him he got something. He ain't getting back over here. No, he ain't. He causing too much havoc as it is. Leave that nigga over there. You know, he giving back to the community. He waking them up in with the information. He just doing too much right now. You know, then he too fucking honest, even with his own self. He's teaching them to be their self again. Leave his ass over there at the gates. Don't let, he not get back on no Deltas, no South by South, none of that. United Air, nothing. You get what I'm saying? He don't even fuck with us. He said, fuck the whole country, right? Leave his ass over there. <laughs> That's what he said. Give his ass what he wants. Leave him over there. He ain't getting back in here. We watch that nigga lives. He always talking about fuck the country and how fucked up it is. Leave his ass over there. <laughs> he ain't getting back in here. And make sure you take his Instagram and every, take everything. Because it ain't going to matter no more. We going to make his ass disappear off this shit. Take all his social medias. Leave him over there, nigga. He has no access to our audience over here anymore. We don't give a fuck. Now he's Jamaica's problem. Jamaica. 
Y'all deal with that shit. We're going to let the British deal with that nigga. He already said fuck Queen Elizabeth and them. We're going to let the British. We're going to leave his ass in Jamaica. That's who owns Jamaica still. We're going to let the British deal with that nigga. Feel me? Send his ass to royal court. <laughs> Think it's the state versus... No, send his ass to royal court. Fuck that. <laughs> you feel me? Leave that nigga in Jamaica. You hear me? I'm dealing with that life. I'm telling you. You feel me? Like, man, we, we got Bar Marley Jr., y'all. They, they didn't... Banish Rashad Jamal to, for all eternity to Jamaica. You feel me? Like, now I'm just over there like, damn, y'all, I'm stuck in Jamaica, but I'm still in the struggle. Though. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn Jamaica. What you talking about? We're going to be living in Jamaica then. Like, nigga, all right, fuck it. And when we come across this ocean, just know it's busting. Since niggas want to, y'all, okay, y'all want to play like that on any trip. I'm going to go I'm gonna go over here, touch base in Jamaica. I'm going to camp, going in the jungle, going to trenches. You know, I come out, I'm going wherever our people at. I need to be there, nigga. You feel me? When I, for you know, because motherfuckers be, you know, Jamaica, they don't fuck around in Jamaica. So niggas be staying in tourist sections. Nah, nigga, I'm going in the jungle. I'm going with a lion, because I'm a lion. So when I walk in, I'm not scared to go in the jungle. I know the lion's going to show me love once they see me. They're going to sense it off and be like, oh, okay. He a lion like us. Okay. He cool. You know what I'm saying? He a lion like us. He cool. See, that be, see, niggas be scared to go because niggas don't be lions. So they know you walk your ass in that jungle, them lions gonna smell that pussy on you like, like one of them internet punk punks from uh, America that just be talking shit. He ain't like that. You feel me? I go through that bitch, they gonna be like, oh yeah, we got a real God over here. What we need to do, nigga, we gonna tear this bitch up. We gonna grab some boats, nigga. We headed right for the USA, nigga, because they kicked me out. So we gotta go back over there. <laughs> you feel me? Facts, nigga, we going back over there. That's y'all land too, shit. Y'all ain't know. Now, all y'all needed was a Rashad Jamal over here, nigga. We finna... Because, you know, Jamaica got all the energy, too. Jamaica got all the energy. But, you know, when they mind fucked us, they did every country, y'all. They did every country, not just the USA. But Jamaica got hella energy over there. That's why our people like going over there. They don't even know it. Jamaica got so much energy over there, man. You talking about some history. It's some, it's some ancient, ancient historical energy over there. You feel me? But... We rising though, y'all. Feel me? And that's why I spoke earlier. That's why I'm saying what I'm saying about the energy. I'm, they know my purpose. The elites right now, they know what I'm here to do. But through y'all. So the plan, you know, you know how it is. You know how it get. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know the plan. Y'all know what they fear. You know what I'm saying? This type of unity we come together. On a universal cosmic level, you know. But what you got to understand is they wanted to wipe us off. They, if the plan was to wipe us off, end us. That's what AIDS was about. That's what that's what the TV was about. That's what all these viruses over time was about. That's what all the STDs was about. All the drugs was about trying to wipe our species out. That's what all the Planned Parenthood is being posted up on every ghetto in, the, in, the, in America was, was about. You know what I'm saying? That's what abortion was about, you know? But what you got to understand is right now, we in end game. So with this Kundalini rising, we going back to our roots because the Kunda came out the root, you know? We rose through the root chakra with the Kundalini energy. We going through the sacral. And we on our way into the solar plexus. The Kundalini energy started rising December 21st, 2020. So we coming out of our root chakra. What does the root chakra deal with? Fear. But we are the Kundalini already surpassed that as on a whole as a species. It's a, it's a Kundalini rising. It's all of us because we one soul, one body of energy rise. That's what Kundalini means. So we back connected again. All right. And we all of us like our navels. We have spiritual links that connects all our navels, all our avatars. We don't see it because it's an energetic thing. It's an etheric thing on your etheric bodies. You know, your electromagnetic frequency around you. You don't see it, but we that's how we are connected. That's why when something happens to somebody and you can relate to it, you feel it in your gut because we connect it by the gut. This where your soul is solar plexus. You feel me? So Roots was about destroying that, but now it's rising. It when it when we went through the root chakra, the fear was removed out the, out of us. Remember, because the root chakra deals with fear, you know, and a lot of low vibrational energy. But the biggest thing is fear. It's most dominantly controlled by fear. Fear is what controls the root chakra. That's how they got you to stay in it. Fear. Okay, 
fear. But if you notice, the fear has been removed. Why you think it's people on YouTube speaking out? People on Instagram speaking out? People taking to the streets speaking out? The awakening can't start unless the fear is removed. Remember, not too long ago, nigga, we were scared to even say Jesus wasn't real. I know I was. Nigga, this time 10 years ago, I was scared to say Jesus wasn't real. You see what I'm saying? But once the fear is removed, then truth comes in. But if you have that slave fear there, you're scared to speak truth. So fear removed, truth comes in. You don't peep amongst the planet right now. The fear is removed. Well, the Kundalini then already went through the root chakra. It wasn't like this two years ago. No, it wasn't. The fear is gone. There's no more fear. Why you think when George Floyd happened, people reacted like that? The fear was rem being removed. They've been killing motherfuckers. Why just so happened when they got to George Floyd, which we know was manipulation now. But why once it got to George Floyd, it was an energetic. You know, they used things to drain our energy. All right? To manipulate the energy. But why do you think when they got to George Floyd, everybody reacted like that? Do you think it was just because he died on the camera? Do you know how many people the police killed? On camera before George Floyd and the planet didn't react like that? You should have asked yourself why. Let's not forget. I think we forget. Did you forget the way the planet reacted to George Floyd? We had never seen that since like the 60s. Bro, Minneapolis went up first. Then Atlanta. Then every other city in the country of America. And then the nigga, and less than, another day later, nigga, they was riding in London, Africa, Australia, around the whole world. That was a whole world thing, y'all. I don't know if y'all, I know because we, we blew past that phase, so it's easy to sit here and overlook it like, but if we go back to last summer, in the heat of that shit, because I was on the front line, I did my part, I was in Atlanta on the front line, and I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all was front in y'all own little way, but real talk, y'all, nobody thinks about like, why did the whole world react? Niggas been getting killed by the police, so what made him so special? Mm-hmm. It was way bigger than him. It was that you have the Akashic records that we are all connected to and they are being opened. So you got certain things that was placed on this fake timeline to happen. And when it happened, it broke a spell. See, we literally snapped out just like in because remember they got us under mass hypnosis anyway. All right. But remember. And get out the black dude that had got kidnapped. He was under hypnosis, so he didn't know no, no different. Then they, they took a picture of his ass. He snapped out of it. and He real quick. He did it. That's what we did. It was just us seeing it happen. Right. And when we seen it happen and they had just came with the, the, the we know what led to the jab. So they came with that shit first. You know, the, the, the 19. Right. And then we seen that happen. And we just like, we was like, hold on. You know, it wasn't even about George Floyd. In that moment right there, we just remember who he was. We like, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Now we gonna try to respect the law around this bitch. But ain't gonna be no killing without killing, nigga. Y'all ain't just finna move like that. That's our planet. In that moment, motherfuckers took to the streets. You see what I'm saying? Not even knowing. It was just a chain reaction. And remember how did they react to us moving to the streets? They ain't do shit, nigga. They stood down. That's what I want you to pay attention to. Boy, they stood down all over the planet. Law enforcement stood down. In every city, the 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 the, the command, nigga, the nigga, the, the seat, nigga, the motherfucking chiefs of every police precinct was getting on the TV just like this. In every city, nigga, you turn the news on this chief. So, Chief, what are you going to do about out of riding? Um, well, the plan is just to basically let the, we understand that it's a lot of frustration in the community right now. And um, we know that, that it wasn't right. They was admitting truth and everything. They were so scared. We know that it wasn't right. So, um, and we understand the community is frustrated. We would ask that nobody, you know, burn any buildings down or anything. But we do get it that if it does happen, we know, we know why it will be happening. Um, 
And, you know, we just told everybody to just let let the riders let the riders ride until, you know, they, they pretty much calm down. Because, you know, we sent a couple we sent a couple vehicles in and our uh, got to pushing their glasses up. That's how you know he was nervous. He, we we sent a couple vehicles in and uh, a couple vehicles, rocks were thrown, bottles were broken. You know, we don't want to put any officers in, in harm's way. Um, they have families too. Oh, now niggas got families. <coughs> they have families too. Um, so we don't want to put any officers in harm's way. So we were told to just let the let everybody just you know just ride until they calm down. And then we told all vehicles to stand down. And you know we understand the community. Thank you. Y'all don't remember that? Y'all, I'm not making it up. Y'all don't remember them doing it everywhere. I know y'all know I ain't lying. We'll pull it up on YouTube. I know it's still popping. I know it's still. Boy, nigga, they wasn't on no nothing. It was too many motherfuckers on the same page. Nigga, they ass was scared, nigga. They got on that motherfucker polite. Niggas had families all of a sudden. You know, officers have families. We don't want to put anybody in harm's way. Um, we, we, we really care about our own. So we told everybody to stand down. Facts. Niggas was standing down, nigga. All over the world, nigga. They was out there, but niggas was just like, they was standing down. They do y'all thing. Eventually, them niggas will get tired eventually. And then that's what happened, nigga. Niggas riding for five days straight to niggas got tired. Niggas went in all type of stores stealing shit. Niggas had all type of shit for sale, nigga. And you know, niggas, <laughs> niggas was calling me. Hey, yo, man, I got these motherfucking Jordans, nigga. Shit, nigga, just give me 200, 200. First off, if I'm going to support you, fam, you ain't finna ch charge me more than what they cost in the store. You stole them, nigga. They was 150 in the store. They was 120 in the store. You stole them, so I'm pretty sure you had to jump a couple gates. That means there might be a couple creases in them bitches. You feel me? So that means I'm going to need them at least for the 80. Nah, niggas. Hey, yo, hello. Yeah, I got this flat screen. The new joint. The $3,000 one, the one that just came out. Yeah, I got it. But look, for you, just give me $4,500. You know, we go way back. Bro, it's only $3,000 in the store, and you stole it, so you ain't going to tell me you ain't break a button on the remote. You ain't drop the remote. You did something, nigga, jump in the gate with the TV. Well, if you ain't trying to come down, nigga, I'll take my money back to Walmart where you stole it from, nigga, and get it for $3,000. What the fuck is wrong with you? These niggas tripping. That's all summer I was hanging up on niggas like that. Last year, nigga, like, gee. Hello? Yeah, G. Hey, hey, you still wear a nine, Joe? You know, I, 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 this me. You know, I work between the nine and the ten, depending on the shoe, though. This, yeah, you know, shit, you shit. I, I know you, I know you like wearing the Balenciagas. I got some, I got some, I got some all red ones. Yeah, some the new Agas. I got some all red ones. You know, with the white gummy, yeah, with the gummy sole, like the ones that you had on in your pain and agony video. Oh, y'all yeah, had them joints in blue. You got them in red. Yeah, I got them in red, bro. Um, but you know, in the store, they really hit for like nine fifty. You know, but you know, I fucks with you. Just give me eleven hundred. You know, you from eleven hundred, so just give me eleven hundred, and shit, we good. You know, a nigga had to make some sacrifices. You know, these joints don't even drop yet. Boy, you stole them dope. You stole them, G. You ain't buying for G. It ain't even for G. You stole them, G. You can't double charge me for some shit you stole. It's the principal, G. They hot, G. What if they trace them back to me? Look, look, look. First off. We go way back. So how you gonna double charge me? I know you took a risk, but I'm taking a risk wearing them, nigga. All right, well, if we can't do nothing, we can't do nothing. Gotta hear it, nigga. Facts. I ain't buy nothing from you greedy-ass niggas who hit me up. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to help you niggas out. Fuck the, fuck the country. Give a fuck what a nigga stole. And then here was the house Negroes. Niggas was mad at me. I can't believe you on Instagram telling people to burn them people shit up. You goddamn right. Burn that shit up, fucking! But you know you shouldn't be telling people. You all on Facebook telling motherfuckers the the burn shit down. Yeah, nigga. But but they burn their own communities up. They burn how how we burn our own communities up, G? I don't give a fuck if it's the hood or not. I don't give a fuck if they burnt down a CVS in the middle of the hood. Don't nobody in the hood own that CVS. What are you talking about? Well, you know they if they're burning the corner store down, y'all be going out of town, nigga. Fuck the May Rams, nigga. That's right, we be going there all the time, nigga. I've been going there since I was three. My mama was going there, nigga, and they still be acting shitty when we come in the store, nigga. I ain't got a deal since 99 around this bitch, nigga. Fuck them, nigga. Burn that bitch to the ground, nigga. We don't own shit in that motherfucking community. What are you talking about, man? I right, well, fuck you then, shit. I was hanging up on niggas like that, too. Not for real. I'm like, niggas was mad at me. 
How you gonna get on the internet and tell man fuck them man fuck them white people nigga nigga fuck them stores nigga we don't own this shit nigga don't don't try to make it seem like it matter now now the niggas reacting now it nah well you know y'all fucking up y'all no they fucking up our communities nigga we, we we reacting right now we ain't fuck up shit nigga we ain't come up with the idea for the projects they did we ain't infiltrated flood the community nigga with drugs nigga they did nigga we ain't flood our communities with no guns nigga they did nigga. We ain't infiltrate our own organizations and kill all our outspoken leaders, nigga. They did, nigga. And we don't own nothing in the motherfucking neighborhood. What is you talking about? So don't make it about the neighborhood now. All the money niggas spend with the a at the corner store. Nigga, I ain't never seen the a store block party in no hood in America, nigga. Boy, the, the, our a rap store called Craters by my hood, boy. Craters ain't all the money my hood is spent in Craters, nigga. With them a Boy, them niggas ain't never came out and said, you know what? We gonna throw a block party this year, nigga. We just gonna give back everything gonna be free, nigga. Not one time, nigga. Nigga, the most they ever did was let a nigga hold a bag of chips to tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, come, hey, let me get these to tomorrow, nigga. Come in. Hey, Ali. Hey, Ali. You stealing, bro? Cause it's always the A-Rap to just start working on. No, you been coming in the store. You gotta cut. Fam, man, nobody stealing, man. You just got here last week. Come man, go get Ali out the back, man. He know me, man. Ali. Hey, I got these, Joe. Tomorrow, come on, man. My mama come in here and get locked. My mama send me up here every day to get lottery tickets, nigga. You see her when she come get us squares. Ollie don't even do that, man. Damn. You feel me? So, you, you feel what I'm saying? That's exactly how it was. You feel me? Exactly. Y'all know I ain't lying. Nigga, <laughs> they did shit for us, nigga. Give a fuck if the Target in the hood. Target ain't never threw a block party and gave back to us, nigga. You feel me, nigga? Fuck them, nigga. Burn that shit to the ground, nigga. Fuck them, nigga. That's how I was. Fuck them, nigga. I don't give a fuck if you go in there and steal. Nigga, that's called stealing from the rich and giving to the poor. I'm going off on the motherfuckers that stealing from the rich and then trying to tax the poor. That was my issue with niggas. If you're going to steal, it's called steal from the rich to give to the poor. I support that, nigga. I support that. Because they greedy as fuck. But don't steal from the rich and then come back and tax the poor, nigga. Now you worse than them, nigga. You talk about them, nigga. You, you what type of totalitarian government shit is you on? What type of tyranny is this? You know what I'm saying? Like we trying to, we trying to get our, we trying to get our own sovereignty back, nigga. We sovereign beings, nigga. We trying to get back to independence around this bitch. But you on some shit like that, nigga. You on straight capitalism times ten, cause you gonna take it and inflate it even more, nigga. Like. <laughs> Now, I understand business, economics, financial literacy, nigga. I know what you're doing. That's called inflation, nigga. What are you on, nigga? Now, now you worse than them, nigga. You know, <laughs> nigga, that ain't what we own, nigga. You better get, knock them prices down, nigga. Now, I buy all that shit, you feel me? Go, nigga, I need it for half off of what it was going in the store, nigga. Yeah, we, we gonna be good that way. You know what I'm saying? That give me a little room to sell a little son to somebody else and throw a little extra $20 ticket on top. <laughs> you know <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I need me a little room now. You know, you know how we be. But we're like, okay, look, I need it for this because I'm trying to do my own little thing. I'm in the middle. I'm trying to woo up. I don't even wear them no more. I'm trying to. It's somebody else I know gonna want them. So you got to give me some space to make me a little bread too. That's all I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? If we go do business, we go do business. You know what I'm saying? And you don't need to know that I'm telling somebody else. You should just be doing the right thing because you stole. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying, y'all. I'm just keeping it real, you feel me? I'm just saying what everybody else won't say, but y'all know I'm telling the truth. You feel me? Y'all know I ain't lying. And, no, and we don't be thinking about that. At all. We don't be thinking about that. Like, nigga, they don't do shit for us in the community, nigga. We give all our money to these. Nigga, think about, come on, man. I stay to my wife getting her eyebrows, toes, nail, nails, did, all that shit. You know? Nigga, I ain't never seen no them Asians come out, nigga, no spas, nigga, and give no free massages or nothing, niggas ain't never passed out no motherfucking, no beef low mains or nothing around this bitch, you hear me? Nigga, I ain't never seen them do it, you feel what I'm saying? All the motherfucking times I did, me and Beta when she done had to get eyebrows, toes, nails. Damn, we can't get a beef low man around this bitch? I'm just saying... Y'all can have one day, nigga. Y'all been in this hood. Y'all been in this community 50 years, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yo, you know what I'm saying? We can't get a beef low main round. They can't get a fortune cookie round this bitch. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, y'all don't think about that. Like, oh, I ain't never seen them, nigga. Nigga can't even get a beef low measy. You don't add them or nothing. But we don't even add up all the money we spending with them. 
Okay, can we get a community day out, y'all, motherfuckers? Can can the goddesses get free toes? Can they get they can they get can they get their eyebrows and lashes and all the toes and just free? Can they have their week where they get a little free little give back? Community day? You know what I'm saying? Well, I'm just asking. We're just four C's right now. Cordial, colored, concerned citizens. That's all we is. That's all we try. A America with three K's. We just some cordial, colored, concerned citizens right now. Why we can't never get no community day back from none of these Xbox, nigga, all them up, PS5, PlayStation, what's up? Throw a nigga free, three feet, free video game. Can we get a community day back? Nigga, 2K, what's up? Nigga, it should be one year, nigga, when 2K just make the shit free, nigga. I've been buying 2K since it hit, nigga. Since it hit, I remember the first NBA 2K with Iverson on the cover, nigga. And I've paid for 2K from 2K all the way to 2K22. Nigga, what you talking about? Man. Come on. Alright, y'all good. I'm forget. You feel me? Come on, y'all. Look. Look. You feel me? No matting. Been bad man since the 90s. I ain't never got a free matting, nigga. Been buying 2K since Iverson was on the front cover, nigga. We had 2K. 22 years later, nigga. We can't get 2K. We can't get a community day. And I got the, the, the $100 edition 2K. We can't get a community day. You see what I'm saying? These are big brands, nigga. Don't none of them give back. That's what I'm trying to get you to see. So what if we burn motherfucker that bitch to the ground, nigga? You feel me? You feel me? And you could do this with any brand. Even nasty ass McDonald's ain't never had a community day. Over a billion served, and they said it every year, nigga. So how many do you think they really serve, nigga? I ain't never seen them open up and just give out. You know, I seen them make the cheeseburger cheaper, nigga. Cheeseburger's only 45 cents a day. But I ain't never seen them do a community day. Make 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 McDonald's free all week. Y'all been open since the since the sixties, nigga. I can see if y'all was a brand new business. Y'all done more than got rich off us. But if you go tear McDonald's down and riot because some shit going wrong, now they gonna bring our you know we don't need y'all to disrupt y'all own communities. You feel me? We don't need y'all to disrupt y'all own communities. That ain't what this is about. You feel me? That ain't what this that's that ain't what this is about. That ain't what this is about. At the end of the day, we gotta have our own community days. You feel me? Our own community days. We don't get that. Period. We don't get that. Feel me? Real, real slavery. Real life slavery. And look, let me talk to y'all about these Gaddafi giants too, right? Because look, what I want y'all to see is this, right? With these, with these Gaddafi giants, right? That's all based around this rise. A story came out not that long ago where it spoke about the U.S. leaving Afghanistan. Wasn't that long ago. Okay. And they didn't really even, they didn't really even, I said everything I'm saying now just to get to this point, because the Kundalini rise. The USA packed up and just fled Afghanistan. They ain't never did that. And go pull up the footage. You're going to see them niggas fleeing like they running from something. And they ain't tell nobody. They just say, hey, the USA withdrawing all their troops out of Afghanistan. They didn't say why. Because of the Qaddafi giants. And these giants been there. Been there. It's been stories about them. It's been coming out, been coming out over the years. They just hid it from the public. And these giants are a race of our species. But they coming out of portals within within the ground. Okay? 
that's inside the mountains in Afghanistan. And now that we are rising, okay, it's in game. So now they are able to just fully unleash onto the planet. People used to see them and report it. Go look at the people been reporting giants seeing giants in Afghanistan in caves. And they, they kept it shh, for years. But when they seen these black giants come out these caves, they had to leave. They had to flee. They had to completely flee Afghanistan. You feel me? They had to take their troops and flee Afghanistan. That, 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 that's how powerful. That, that's how powerful. That, that's how powerful they is. You feel me? They had to completely uh, flee Afghanistan. You feel me? They had to completely flee Afghanistan. You know what I'm saying? They had to completely flee Afghanistan. You know, because at the end of the day, they can't they can't compete with this cosmic energy and everything that's going on right now. So guess what they did? They fleed Afghanistan. You feel me? They 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 fleed Afghanistan. You feel me? And you feel me? Think about what I'm telling y'all. They fleed Afghanistan. They fleed it. I want y'all to go watch the footage. You hear me? I need y'all to go watch the footage of them fleeing Afghanistan. I need y'all to go watch the footage of them fleeing Afghanistan. Feel me? I need y'all to go watch that footage. Because what you got to understand, right? What y'all got to understand, right? Is that you think they did that for no reason? I had to step out here in this air and embrace this nature. You feel me? Like just to get out here in it, like just so, just so I can feel the energy more myself. Do you really honestly think they flee for no reason? No. And they're not gonna tell you why they flee. They not. They not. You seen motherfuckers running, hopping in planes, people hanging off planes, <laughs> the whole nine. Because of these ancient black giants, carbonated beings they seen, the Qaddafi giants. It's a, it's a dude that's called Qaddafi. So when you hear Qaddafi, you thinking of the Qaddafi from back in the 70s and 80s. But where you think that name came from? The original, the, the, the Qaddafi represents a clan of giants they call the Qaddafi. Okay, so even when Qaddafi was calling himself Qaddafi, he was calling himself that because he was going and sitting with these ancient beings. This is why he was so powerful. This is why if you go look up Qaddafi, Qaddafi was in tour with the U.S. You know what I'm saying? They were trying to kill Qaddafi. Facts. Jeff Ford himself is sitting in jail right now because he was talking to Qaddafi, trying to get missiles and things of that nature. You feel what I'm saying? This is why he was calling himself Qaddafi because he felt like he was on that level. He was sitting down talking to these ancient beings. And he was trying to go to war with the beings over here. You feel me? And America killed him too. They locked up Jeff Ford. Go look it up. These are giants though. A clan of them called the Qaddafi. They exist in the Afghanistan mountains. This is the real true reason that America fled. America don't pack up and flee. And they know when they, they, when they seen these giants, they know what time it is. The Giants still over there right now. They ain't reporting nothing. You feel me? And a lot of them got killed. The whole, like, all them bases that was in Afghanistan, they've been over there since, what, 2000? So why they just going to up and leave in 2022 all of a sudden? What happened? What did they see? They've been there since 2000, since the war on, uh, on when they say, hey, we looking for weapons of mass destruction. So we talking since 2001, 2002. Now, all of a sudden, 20 years later, you leave. Nigga, y'all didn't leave after y'all allegedly killed Bin Laden. But now you leave and just take off. Why? A lot of them troops, a lot of them bases was killed and destroyed by the Qaddafi. The media ain't telling y'all about it. And that's why you seen the footage that was caught. They ass was fleeing like that, like a, like a motherfucker was chasing them. Feel me? Because these giants are extremely fast, extremely athletic. Think of the Hulk. Because this us. It's our ancestors. Sir, I told y'all. We back, y'all. They kicked me off. Let me show y'all this too.
Yeah, we back. We back. They, that was YouTube, y'all. I'm trying to show y'all something. back y'all oh that's youtube okay let me see let me show y'all something show y'all this Find it, y'all. Hold on. Y'all know I can't put no volume on it. Cause uh Yeah, that was YouTube. Look at this, y'all. Hold on. Trying to get to the hold on. Hold on. Hold on, y'all. I'm trying to pull this up, reflection. Pull it up, y'all. I'm trying to pull the whole thing up on the screen so y'all can see them fleeing uh, Afghanistan. Dang. Let me see which one. Hold on, y'all. I'm trying to show y'all this. I got to find it. It's so many of them. Hold on, I want to show y'all the one where they was jumping on the ships. I mean, on a plane, and like they was running. Hold on, you see motherfuckers hanging off the plane and everything. I could have swear I had it saved. It's like it disappeared. Hold on. Let me see. This might be it right here. And then they ain't really talk about it, right? They ain't really like when they left. They made it just seem like it was nothing, you know what I'm saying? They're like, oh, the troops are withdrawing. Looking on this one, they ain't even. Oh my God, man. See, that's why I don't like put going up here no more like that, because they get to playing these disappearing act games. You feel me? But yeah, they try to make it seem like um it was just a normal, like them just leaving. Oh, here it go. Here it go. I see. Oh, I found. Make y'all last time out. Look how they try to do it. Okay, here we go. Watch this, y'all. 
Now, do this look normal to you? I want y'all to watch this video. Do this look normal to you? Look at this. Somebody just fell off a plane. You see it? Do this look normal to you? Look, do that look normal to you? Look, <laughs> basically, let me show you. Hold on, hold on. Do this look normal? Do that look normal to you? Three people falling off the plane. So listen, check this out. The people running in front of the plane, like the dude that was like smiling and stuff like that. Bullshit. Wasn't nobody smiling in real life time, that's CGI. Notice, I want you to notice something, right? Notice how they running next to the plane, okay? Notice the people in the back, though. The people in the back right by the plane is the real people. Notice how they look, like they running too. They like, hold on, don't leave without us, don't leave without us. That's how they is. So why are they doing that? Because when the troops came to Afghanistan, they was there to help them. Remember, the Arabs over there, they, Arabs are human beings, okay? They're human beings, okay? So... They was over there. The U.S. was over there helping the Afghanistan human beings, the Arabs over there, helping them do what the fuck they was doing with the oil and everything, right? So they was over there basically protecting them. Now, when the when the when the when the Gaddafi, when the Gaddafi, which is a, a legion, a legion of giants, us, all right, warriors though, all right, all warrior, all warrior giant, all gods, ain't no goddesses in the Gaddafi. It's just all gods. Like we got so many different type of sects. Of us, right? But it's still all us, all of us, An Anunnaki, just like the Moors and all that. The Gaddafi, you know, they like the Hulk. Imagine the Hulk, like so. When you see the Hulk, you know that's like how the Gaddafi is. These brown, these 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 giants, right? But they like a, a they have a luminous glow to them, like a bluish, like a blue, like a blue black. They like blue black, okay? They like a bluish black. And they doing all, they moving just as fast as the Hulk move. They moving just as strong, doing just the same things that Cherubim and Seraphim do for, uh, like they did for Simeon Toko. So when the Gaddafi come out these caves, these giants, you get what I'm saying? They over there fucking them people up and they not even showing that. So all they showed you was like the U.S. just leaves Afghanistan. And then notice they only showed you so many flights taking off. And it's hard to them to find the footage now. You feel me? They only, they, they just showed you a little bit. Look, it's, it's so many loopholes poked in that video. Why they running like that? Why the plane just leaving like that? What's really going on? They ain't say none of that. Oh, you, you, Afghan, they just flee Afghanistan. It ain't like they took up, uh, packed up and left and took their time. Them niggas was fleeing. They were fleeing. You feel me? They fleeing. You feel me? This is right here. Look, buddy right here is to make you believe that it's not as serious as it is. This is CGI technology right here. Don't pay attention to them two. That's why they put him in front of the screen and notice he has on blue. Because what does blue represent? Throat chakra. What does the throat chakra deal with? Speaking truth. So when you see this sky blue, that deals with throat, throat chakra. The deeper blues deals with the brow chakra, third eye. Notice the shirt he got on. All right, that's CGI, them two. And they got them all happy to throw off what's all the chaos that's going on in the background. That's exactly why they put him in the front. You know what I'm saying? These two, CGI. The CGI right here. CGI, CGI. Them in the back, that's not CGI. They CGI. That's why the camera is focused on them. Look. Look. Ain't nobody listen. No, notice. Don't nobody else do that but him. Okay? Now let's go back to it. Notice. Look, how he spot the camera. Why ain't nobody else doing that? Look how they acting. Look how they acting. Look how they acting. Look, notice him. Look at him. He gonna spot the camera. See this CGI blended in. He spots the camera, waves. When he wave, notice the shirt he got on. 
that color. All right. Throat chakra, which deals with what? Speaking truth. CGI imagery. Them in the back, that's not CGI. All right. That's them fleeing from this goddamn. Now, look how happy he was. Now, look at their energy. Look at their energy. Look at them. Ain't nobody else. Why ain't nobody else doing that? Look. Why are they acting like that? Why are they acting like that? I'm just, I'm just getting you. I'm, I mean, I already know about the Gaddafi. I'm just trying to use the little bullshit that I can to wake y'all up to them. Okay? So, you know, anytime, anytime you're looking at this type of information, you know, they ain't going to never show you everything. Y'all feel me reflection? But this is what's going on. This is exactly what's going on. And he, that's why he was able to put, point to the camera heat. Why ain't nobody else doing that? Why everybody else ain't running up to the camera? And he just so happened to have on sky blue that deals with those chakra energy. And you know what colors, how colors affect you if you understand metaphysics. If you can't hear me, go out, come back in. Because it's 3,000 people that can. So, that deals with CGI. Feel me? You feel me? So, at the end of the day, understand why they left. Okay? Because of these Gaddafi giants that are still over there as we speak. All right? So, that's the true reason that they fled. It's the true reason that the U.S. fled. No different than you got portals and beings coming out the oceans. You got ships being seen in the skies all the time. I told you, as we move deeper into Endgame, all is being revealed. Everything that you thought was fake is real, and everything you thought was real is fake. Feel me? Everything you thought was real is fake. And everything you thought was fake is real. Just like I told y'all about the Haitians that came to the border. How you think they got across the water? How do you think they got across the water? Let him who has eyes see clearly. Peace to gods and goddesses. Now we rise. One.